Are you kept and talking salsa? Do your words match your video? Well, hello, who's next? Can't nobody stop us, cause we bucked in prime. Well, hello, who's next? Can't nobody stop us, cause we bucked in prime. Well, hello, who's next? Are you kept and talking salsa? Do your words match your video? Well, hello, who's next? Can't nobody stop us, cause we bucked in prime. All right, y'all, we are live and back at it. At it again. On? You know what time it is. <laughs> we back. <laughs> Last time we went live, we broke our ag algorithm. What's going on with that? YouTube get us fixed? Man, they, uh, <laughs> I don't know what they did, but they lowered our views significantly. Uh -huh. and, yeah, you know, I, I had to talk to them. They're like, yeah, it went out of your nor normal views and algorithms. So we have to validate all the views and stuff like that. I don't know. They they doing some funny stuff. Uh, but looks like we just hit six thousand subs, which was not showing on our end for a while. So I don't know where that came from. It's crazy. Yeah, it's it's rolling, man. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, what's going on? What's going you know on? what I'm saying? We back. Yeah, back again. Y'all y'all heard that theme music? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, introduce this CT. Let's get this thing rolling. All right, welcome back to Buff and Prime. We're doing our second live show. It's your guy, CT the Fan. I'm with the professor, T. Cal. We got a lot of film to break down. That spring <laughs> uh, transfer portal been busy. Y'all know what it is. Hey, a lot of people were surprised, but I don't know why you guys are surprised. Meanwhile, while I'm at work, find out T. Cal about to change our name. <laughs> Bro, we are going to go from Buff and Prime to the first Buff 48. You out here, get your bodies on Twitter. Bro. What's going on? I don't know ah. why people think they can play with me or that it's going to end well. Like, I I don't understand it. Like, they're going to learn at some point, but it, it's never going to be fun. And right. the, the first thing they're going to want to do with anybody want to do with our channel is discredit us and say, mm. oh, y'all don't know football. But being that I played and was lead at it, that's what really kills them. Because that's the first thing you want to say. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Who don't? You better go play somewhere else. It's, it's not safe on this side of the street. Uh, <laughs> but, man. We appreciate y'all coming in. That's a part of the game. Uh, big Mike Larry, appreciate Mike Larry, you. Mike Larry, appreciate you, brother. You know what it is. Appreciate the support. We got to hop back on Mario Kart soon. You know, got spicy. <laughs> DKI won't smoke at all across all platforms, apparently. Man, they got spicy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Appreciate you, Elijah. Yeah, so we got film of these guys. Uh, let's see what Kev talking about. Can we get that kid from Toledo? I haven't seen him yet. Shoot me a message and I'll see if I can check out his film. What's going on, everybody? Uh, thank y'all for tuning in. And as y'all know, man, we had a huge, huge, huge weekend as far as recruiting. Right. And we need to bring some of them home, man. <laughs> we we got to bring we got to bring some home and uh like frank said yeah make, make sure y'all hit that yeah, like hit button, like button. y'all here subscribe share comment you know it's all love let's go let's get it absolutely wait Since let me ask you the general appreciate Are, you thank you how you feeling about this this weekend did, did we did we snatch up a few what what's good we got some dogs man so let me let me pull up who we had visiting this weekend so we had a lot of a lot of big guys visiting this weekend now, I tweeted uh, Dallin Hayden, the running back from Ohio State. He's a need. He he's not just a want. He is a need. And to talk now about it, that real quick, you know, we lost Alton. That's why I was going. Um, Eric Brantley Jr. Uh, and you know, Alton, somebody that I told you about last summer. Like I told you about him before the season. Just go started, back and watch so. that film breakdown we did. Man, Alton was a tough yeah. one, wasn't he? Yeah, so how, how did you feel about that? Um, then I'll talk about, you know, how I felt and then how we expect Hayden to step in. You you know, I, I think uh, as Colorado, you know, fans, we should start to come to expect that, like, hey, dogs come in, people going to leave. Like, it's just, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's part different. of the game. You know, it's part of the game. With the new transfer portal and everything, like, players don't have to stay, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, hey, I mean, we got – we got running back talent, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, coming off that knee injury or whatever, you know, Alden figured he probably wanted some more time, wanted something where, like, you know, I'm the number one guy, period, if I have an up-or-down mm -hmm. game where, you know, if you got Dylan and, you know, 
uh, Welch behind you, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, you, you on top, you got to keep whatever coach put on your plate. You got to eat. Right. So. Yeah. Dang. And it, definitely disappointed by it, man. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, we were so excited to see it, but he has to do what's best for him. And he's coming from a situation where he hasn't really played football. What the past two years? Yeah. Past two years. So he really, he wants to go somewhere where, it's not as much of a competition, not to say that he's scared about competition, but, you know, he's still mentally getting back from that knee injury. So he wants to go somewhere where he can feel comfortable as mm -hmm. far as being that guy and growing back into who me and you know he can be. Right. And, hey, Micah, Micah's running that thing right now. Micah's running it, boy. He's running that Micah's thing for real, it. bro. Yeah, he's told it, you know. And, so. and Dylan can go, too. Well, we know Dylan can go, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing I'm interested in seeing with Schumer, because I said uh, for Shadur to be really successful this year, you know, mm -hmm. everybody talk about the wide receivers. No, he needs that running game because, you know, when people, you know, they stopped loading the box. We had no running game last year. Offensive lines, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So that matters. Whether you believe it or not, that matters a lot because that changes how the defense is going to play you, right? Absolutely. So it changes how the defensive in. ends are going to rush. How they, yeah, it changes everything. So, you know, I'm excited, man. But you know what? Salute to you, Alton, bro. I respect you, man. You went out sure. the right way. You know what I'm saying? You ain't like that other guy. I ain't going to say no name. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's see. We just got a super chat. Do you think that CP is over-recruiting in skill positions, specifically wide receiver, because that's causing players to run off? Um, I don't know if we had any wide receivers run off. Have we? Have any no, receivers? No, no, no. Not, not the wide receivers. Yeah, no. I don't think I mean, receivers. Um, we, we've been straight. I mean, you been you been excited about Lejante, dude. Special, bro. You have yeah, to size what we should do. Her. Yeah, no, I, I think we need the depth at receivers for sure. Mm -hmm. Then on top of that, running backs. This isn't the old school running backs where you know it was one running back that's getting it constantly. Uh, it's going to be running back by committee. So we're going to have multiple running backs that are getting the ball. We're going to have different types of running backs. Um, a lot of guys don't play running back every down anymore. So I think it's important to have that depth. So I'm not worried about that. FPSD appreciate you, G. Man, Picked up some depth this brother. weekend. Hopefully they stay and grow on the program. Hit up at 5430 so we can get those dogs. Let's go, buffs. That's a fact. 5430, if you guys don't know, that is where you can donate basically for our Colorado's NIL collective, mm -hmm. where they can get, you know, more money to get these players. Um, so like, definitely need to when you're talking about money, awesome. how much how much money you think these players are at? like? I said that matters, right? So like they come mm -hmm. here, they do these tours or whatever, but it, it comes down to dollars and cents, right? So how much yeah. money you think, like you know, what I'm saying, you think these I guys have no idea are coming for? It could be crazy. I have zero huh? idea. I have yeah, no it'd be idea. crazy, bro. That's crazy. Someone said Dawson ran off. I'm not sure, and you know, I don't want to get into too much speculation, but I'm not sure if he left by choice. That was a kind of seemed like it was a weird situation, mm -hmm. but um. Outside of him, yeah, then I, I don't know much regarding that. But I feel like as Colorado fans, I mean, we, we kind of got to get used to it, man, with the transfer portal. Like, you know, you're going to have talent coming in and you're going to have talent going out. It's just who wants to stay, in, you know, and show prove that they're the dog because you can't play everybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're looking for those teammates to say, hey, you know what? I'm willing to, you know what I'm saying? You call me and I'm the next man up. But until then, I'm going to do what I'm doing. I'm be ready. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just the way it is, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's always next man up. So, and that's the benefit you got when you have so many players in depth. Uh, running back by committee does not work. It did not work at USC. That's a crazy thing to say when you first think of USC. You think of Reggie Bush, Reggie Bush and Lindell White. White. Right. And I nasty one too much. A, a Fifty, a hundred more combos. And Alabama know. entire backfield. Everybody. That <laughs> yeah. Had. Yeah. No. Another it, it super chat. Sense. Big fan, keep doing your thing. Y'all definitely know football, not like some of these people. Appreciate you, man, Red. Appreciate you, man. Definitely, bro. Appreciate that. But yeah, CT, go ahead. Look, uh, I'm excited. I'm okay with running back by committee because Dylan's different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, you could put him out of the receiver. He could get him in space. The boy gonna do some things. He's special, I, man. Right. So you and, know. and and who I want Colorado fans to check out, uh, because a lot of people say that Dylan can't be every down back and stuff like that. Look up Donnell Pumphrey. If y'all don't know who he is, he is the leading rusher in college football history. 
I played against him in college. He ran at San Diego State, and he's about the exact same size as Dylan and was a month. He was on your Eagles, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a yeah. monster, bro. That's being yeah, Donnell was a problem yeah. in college. So uh for all the haters that say stuff about that, just know that you know everybody's like stuck on size, but like you know, as a football fan, bro, you see it all the time. They be like, Who's the pro typical quarterback? Six five, two pounds, and they don't do shit. Oh, but you know be what I'm saying? You be like, yeah. hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. And you'd be like, hey, like, you know, people draft these quarterbacks or whatever, and but they don't put them in the right system. And I I, I hate that because mm-hmm. it's just like if you draft this quarterback who won the Heisman and he, this was his skill set, then I'm going to bring that system that worked for him to my off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I hate that. bro. And, like, it's just and that's what I'm excited me. about Shermer to do with Dylan Edwards. I think he's going to put him in position. Uh, Jose Puente, y'all become my favorite bus channel. Keep it up. We appreciate you. Thank appreciate you, you, Jose, man. Appreciate the love, bro. Uh, appreciate the love see. for real. Hated Pumphrey because I followed Hawaii. He was skinny but unstoppable. Yeah, he used to. <laughs> he used to be a problem, man. He used to get it in. I'm telling we he ran through us when I was at Nevada constantly. Uh, chapstick for you. Oh wow. Okay, well I'll answer that here. Um, did the defensive tackle from Louisville sign with the team? Uh, I don't believe he signed with the team yet. However, I did see that he has a bunch of visits scheduled and I don't think Colorado's one of them. So not sure yeah. if, yeah, not sure if we're going to be able to get him. I'm sure we're going to be, able to, cause he's going to, he's, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully, Hey, keep your fingers. You never know, man. Never know. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. Shoot. Coach. It's Brian's not because you ain't obviously. signed till you ain't signed. Right. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it, it is what it is now. Were you surprised? We kind of knew the tight end was going, right? Because, bro, will you show me his film? I forgot about that. He spared you guys his life. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to like you guys when I yeah. release this film. But when I saw the film and you guys go back and watch the video, when I'm like, yeah, we're going to have, uh, we're going to need a tight end. That's because I saw the breakdown and I was like, there's no way. No way. Yeah. No way. And we watched the full game. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't there, um, <laughs> unfortunately. So, yeah, we, we've we said before he announced he was transferring, we need tight ends. So that's something we're still <laughs> looking at. Do you remember Noel Devine? Absolutely. Noel, uh, Pat White, Steve Slayton. Ooh, just Pat disgusting White. At West Virginia. Disgusting at West Virginia. Uh, Jamar said, Block Bully said in a recent interview that Dylan earned his respect when he came free off the D-line and Dylan stepped up to pick up the block. Love that. And, yeah, uh, Dylan is the guy that strikes me that he has a lot of heart. So I'm mm-hmm. not worried about him at all as far as, you know, size. You know, could he get injured potentially because of his size? Yeah, you know, that's always a possibility. But as far as heart and the want to, no, nah, I think Dylan's a dog. So no worries well, there. Uh, so well, hopefully with the ahead. new offensive line, we open up some uh, – they open up some bad lanes. Calls for him. And Pat Sherman be like, yo, we going to run the rock. That matters, mm-hmm. bro. We got to run that yes, rock. It does. Let me answer this before we get to the next person. So where did he get his four star from these? If you go up and you look like uh, who's do who blocked me this week, man, the 24 seven sports. Dude. <laughs> Wait, you got blocked. <laughs> yeah. The 24, Bud Elliott, that was his name. Cause he had hit up the DMVR guys and basically said, what are y'all going to be doing for work next year? Trying to talk money mm-hmm. to him. And I, I, I popped in. Hey, you want to talk money? I'll talk money with you. You're not going to have any fun. <laughs> Because uh, he was talking crazy about Colorado, uh, he mm-hmm. blocked me. But he's the director of twenty four seven sports recruiting. I don't think he's ever played football a day in his life. That's where these stars come from. Is because the people that are analyzing these guys don't know what they're looking at, don't know what they're talking about. Um, so, man, yeah, over nine hundred people and y'all here, y'all. We need them likes. Make sure y'all yeah, liking this. Like, Make sure y'all share this to other share. people. Mm-hmm. Come Appreciate in. it. Uh, thank you, Annette fifty five, Annette D fifty five for the super sticker. Salute to y'all. Um, so we got Dallin Hayden. Like I said, I think he's a need. I We're going to get to his film as well. So I got film on Hayden, Herring. Uh, we already did uh, Nakai, but I'll show it again if people want to see it. Dayon Hayes. The only people I don't have film on is Peyton Kirkland and uh, Rayon Bull. But outside of that, I got film on everybody on here. Dalen Hayden is a really good running back. Runs behind his pads. Really excited about him. Uh, and we'll go to the next one. So let's pull him up real quick. So, or Dallin Hayden. So Dallin Hayden, last season, he had 19 carries for 110 yards and touchdown. Not that impressive. But if you look below, 
2022, he had 100 carries for 553 yards, averaging five yards a carry, five touchdowns. I watched three games of his. I think two of the games were from uh, 2022. He ran for over 100 rushing yards in those games, and I didn't see him get a carry in those games until the second quarter. In one of the games, he didn't get it till late in the second quarter and still ran for 100 yards. He's mm. a really good running back. He's – now, stay with me right here. He's a Derrick Henry type of running back, not talking about the size, but mm -hmm. one of those guys who wears down a defense, and as the game goes on, he continues to pop better and better runs. So early in the game, you know, he had some two, three-yard carries, but then you see five yards here, 10 yards here, 15 yards here. So he's a guy that is – is what we need. I want somebody that uh, a running back, all of our running backs that we can get four yards consistently on first down. Give me right. second and six. Don't give me second and 12 or second and 10. Look, you had me at when you said he's Derrick Henry because when I think of Derrick Henry, I think as a closer. And boy, we could use a closer because you know what I'm saying? Push your door out, let him go sit on the bench and let the running back close the game. Because, you know, we had a couple games but last year. I'm like, bro, we, gotta, we should just be running and closing it. Yeah, a good amount that we could have closed if we had a running game. I mean, shoot, the Oregon game looks different if we have a running game. Like, yeah, there was a lot of bad stuff. But the the difference between going three and out for throwing three and completions, you're not taking any time off the clock. Your defense isn't getting any rest and they're going back on the field mm -hmm. versus, hey, we're running the ball and we're able to continue to go and, you know, get more and more um, as far as that. And I did see, appreciate you, Emily, <laughs> my wife. Um, but... <laughs> Is is the Kansas cornerback Kobe coming? I think he's just trolling. That's Colorado's what he told me because I got excited, right you guys. T Cal was yeah. like, nah, bro, he's just trolling you. I'm like, ah. <laughs> CT messaged me excited. I said, clickbait. <laughs> T Cal, man. I'm not, I'm he cold, y'all. He cold. Y'all see him. He cold. Everybody's no trying to get me to watch him. film. Yeah. So watch film for what? He not he not coming here. I'm not going. Let's see. T. Cal Colorado have also notified the running back from Louisville. Yeah, y'all send me these names. Uh, y'all can DM them to me on Twitter as far as who's in the portal or who's getting ready to go in the portal because I love checking out these guys' film. Uh, yeah, he was trolling Travis in Colorado trying to build his NIL deals. They know the country watching. Appreciate yeah. you, Kev. But Appreciate yeah, you, Kev. You, you're we agree one. with you. No, I thousand percent, bro. A thousand percent. You know what I'm saying? And that's that comes with Colorado. People gonna be like, hey, Colorado got my I'm getting attention from Colorado. Like, like it's crazy the energy that's in this program, bro. In and out. Yes, it is. And I, I do want to say we did get commits out of this. Uh Dayon Hayes committed, and he is a former teammate of Sam Okanlola, who just transferred to us. And it's going to be amazing. Sam Okanlola, <laughs> he boy, he's gonna he's gonna get after the quarterback. Sacks, so I'm really sacks, more him. sacks. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, boy. I, especially after we did that Bentley video breakdown, man, bro. I'm like, man, we get that defensive line right, it's gonna be havoc. But that's the thing. They they haven't even seen our Bentley yet, so they got no idea. Uh, let's see. Can we use? Uh, yeah, we can use a closer. Say it again, CT. We Appreciate can use a closer. Okay, to okay yeah, Deval. We need one. You dropped that theme we... music for us. It's nothing but love for <laughs> right. you, brother. <laughs> yeah, and, and your uh, care package is on the way. Appreciate you. But yeah, <laughs> you know we, we got to get it out to you, bro. We need a back like Dallin. And I think Micah might fit in there as well as far as somebody that can continue to get those positive yard gains. It's not about the flashy runs, the big home run hitters. It's about getting those runs that are going to keep things, you know, moving, keep the chains going. Uh, so it's a new tight end we acquired chopped. Are there any tight ends in the portal that you think will be a good fit? So the problem with the portal that I've been seeing is a lot of these guys don't have stats. Like mm -hmm. I'm going through and trying to find, and what I mean by stats, they don't have playing time. Like a lot of them aren't, weren't playing at their previous school. So I really don't have no film to go on. So we got a lot of guys that are going to be question marks. Now I'm sure the coaching staff, uh, these guys were able to send them practice film or one-on-ones and stuff like that. So the coaching staff was able to get a feel for them. But as far as us, just as fans, you know, I, I have no idea what's what's coming from them. But, hey, Mr. Stewart, appreciate you and uh, your donation. You Let's know see what, what else is, we got. Uh, so, yeah, Dayon Hayes committed. And I believe, was it um, – how do we get that down? Uh, Rayan bull i think he committed unfortunately i do not have film on him hit that like you fellas are blowing up super chat film study is big time work appreciate you g um let's see penny bone might be more 
seeing more. Dallin's dad, Aaron Hayden, was freshman All American running back at Tennessee in 1991. That's good so to know. His, so it's in his blood. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and I believe uh, Dallin Hayden was a true freshman that year. I was talking about 2022, where he had mm-hmm. that much better stat line. I think it was just a lot of a lot of competition there. Sincere, let him know. Let him Make know. Sure hit that like button. Uh, hopefully, YouTube don't try to nerf us again. Uh, oh, but God. let it. Let us know whose film y'all want to see first. We got Dayon Hayes. He's committed. So uh, let's start with his film. Um, and then, you know, we're going to keep rolling through the guys we got. So make sure y'all like, share, subscribe since you're already in the uh, chat. Man, we appreciate y'all. And let we me definitely do. So we start with Dayon Hayes, Pittsburgh uh, Panthers, ex defensive lineman. He's a buff now. You know what it is, right? Yes, sir. He's a senior, six foot three, 265 pounds. Check it out. Last year, yeah, 45 total tackles, 25 solo, 20 assists, four sacks, one forced fumble. Boy, and he's back with Sam Okanola and Warren Sapp. Let's make some noise, Buff. This guy better get after it. Yeah, so uh, one, hold on. Man, I didn't put uh, load the screenshot. What's so funny about this is last year, you remember the pit coach coming out and talking junk about Coach yeah, Brown? Yeah, and now he got both the, his defensive the linemen. The irony <laughs> that he stole both the edges when he was running his mouth, and it was specifically about the transfer portal. And now, through that same transfer portal, we got both of their edges. So, man, I love to see it. Uh, Sam was a, a complete dog. I had only watched one game of Dayon Hayes. Mm-hmm. I think it's Florida State, and uh, he hadn't played as much in – he missed some games the past season. I don't know if it's injury or what. But then today I found him against Louisville. Y'all better buck, y'all better buckle up, man. Y'all better buckle up. <laughs> okay, all you freeloading stalkers. Hey, we appreciate you see hit that day. like button. Get that subscribe. Stay with us. Season ain't we even here yet. You. It's about to get wow. All right. Let's see what he's talking about. Yeah, make sure. Y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe. We about to keep things rolling. Film school in session. You know what time it is? Yes, here we go. I don't got my mouse as big as usual, but it'll be fine. It'll work. So I got the arrow pointing at him. He plays defensive end. Uh, Him and Sam weren't always on the field at the same time together. I would love if they were. He is a power rusher. When I say power, you're going to see power. He is a power rusher. Hey, let me, uh, CT, can you put that comment up? Hey, Kenny Scoop, appreciate you, G. Appreciate you, showing love. Yeah, Love watching the film breakdown with my son, sophomore cornerback. That is awesome. Glad y'all tuning in. And any questions that you got, feel free to hit me up on. Yeah. uh, Twitter, Buffton Prime, Instagram. Come in. Hey, if you hit him up on Twitter, come in with that white flag wave. (laughs) If you ever got any questions or need any clarification about stuff that I say on here, you know, feel free to hit me up. I appreciate you. All right, let's get to this. Can you take that comment down? Yes, sir. Appreciate you. All right, Dayon Hayes, let's get it. He He's powerful. And we're going to see this from the tight angle. So watch how he gets into the backfield here. So it takes on this tackle. And again, bro, that's, that, that's not a good look from, from a tackle. Your back is not supposed to. He should never be straight <laughs> up and down. Bullies in there. Now, this running back potentially could have had a cutback lane, but the mm. way he hit him, he hit him right to where he was running. Then has the wherewithal to still make the tackle and get a tackle for loss while bullying number 74. Love it. Let's check that out. nastiness. Bring it to Colorado. I really like this play, even though he probably didn't record a tackle or any stat on this play. This is an important play, and it's, uh, it shows his discipline. Mm-hmm. One thing I love about football players, I love really disciplined uh, football players. And let me see. We got got a few more super chats. Goodness gracious, man. Y'all showing love. Appreciate yeah, y'all showing y'all. crazy love. Appreciate yeah. you, Kev. You know what it is. Got you. Cindy, thank you. You've been rocking with us for a really long time. Yeah, it's at 1307 now. Uh, David L., appreciate you. And uh... <laughs> he cut himself out. Look like y'all stuck with me. CT. <laughs> yeah. Back I, on stage. Yeah, I'm, you can go. Bro. 
I told you to leave that guy alone on Twitter. He got that attention. <laughs> Trying to hack me. But anyways, we right back to it. So let me get this shared so we can watch this. Boy, oh boy. It hit the wrong button. This, this Mac, I tried to slide on the screen and slid the whole screen off. So what's really important about this is his discipline. And what I mean by that is this is a read option that we're getting right here. Uh -huh. So the quarterback has the option to hand this ball off mm -hmm. right here. If he sees Dayon come down too hard, then he's going to pull it and run. Now, right now, this is a tough read for the quarterback. Me, I'm handing it to the running back. You're not going to just let me get cracked. So I'd hand it off to the running back. But he pulls it. Dayon stays true, stays disciplined, and runs the quarterback all the way out here to where he has to throw it in a definitely a legal line downfield for throwing it like that. But uh, this is a great play by him. And I'm telling you guys, you guys watch some more college football. You guys will see how many times this defensive end where he's in this read position will take off after this running back and the quarterback pulls it and just runs scot free. So that's really important uh, to have as the edge of your defense. No, you Check know what? And I like the fact that even though he's a power rusher, he's showing that high IQ because mm -hmm. that matters, bro. Yeah, it does. I love this play. Appreciate you, Appreciate Mr. Hillsman. You. It's number love, fam. And if we don't get to y'all super chats uh, quick, it's just because I'm trying to break the film down. Uh, but we'll make sure and recognize everybody as we go. Uh, all right, so we got him right here. Fourth and one. When, when it's on the line, who going to make a play? Let's see what he does here. Love it. Damn, Boy, bro. Him. Was that in slow motion? Bro, he put him all Damn. the way into the backfield. Bro, I think he That's that a dude, great play. That dude might have lost his family on that one, bro. God. And, Damn. and that's what I talk about a lot on this channel is making the play without making the play. This is not going to show up as a stat for him. It's not going to be a tackle for loss. But if you don't think... <laughs> If you don't Sorry. think he made this play and disrupted every bro, oh come on, bro, man. bro, he put that guy on ice, and I swear the field is green and grass, bro. That is what we want to see from one from our defensive lineman, definitely from an Nasty. edge rusher. Yeah, bro. This is good. This is really good ball right here. Love that. Pretty sure they got stopped short right there. Yeah, you made the play. You made the play without making the play. Love it. All right, so let's see where we got him right here. He's at left end. Let's see what he's talking about. Again, there's that discipline. IQ, bro. Yep, there's discipline. that IQ. This play could have went big for so many more yards because you got a lot of guys get in this situation, going to run straight to the quarterback. They're going to see the pool. They're going to think the ball's going this way, run straight to the quarterback. Instead, he's doing right here what we call surfing and – Right here, you can see if you put a surfboard under him, it looks like he's yeah. surfing. So he's surfing because he's trying to make this quarterback make a decision. Even if his guy's the running back, he's not going to immediately run to the running back because then that allows the quarterback to get free. So he's mm -hmm. going to help his teammates rally to the football by staying disciplined and takes a great whoa, angle whoa, whoa. Whoa. and only allows like a two-yard game. And everybody that knows Buff and Prime, they know how much T. Cal loves the defensive lineman with a motor. What did oh, he yeah. got? <laughs> you don't got a motor. You can't play for me. <laughs> you I need effort from, yeah, from my he players, putting it. He's showing it, though, bro. And he's showing that IQ. He's showing that discipline. I like this right here. So we talk about all the time, Robert Livingston's defense. Mm -hmm. We saw the team in white is Louisville, uh, who were almost ACC champions. So they're not playing no. They're not playing no scrubs. Yeah, I uh -huh. see. They're trying to catch you there, bro. <laughs> so what I like right here is how we talk about Robert Livingston in his defense. Mm -hmm. You see, there's only two guys with their hands in the dirt right now. Mm. This might actually be Sam right here. They got him blitzing from a stand-up position, which I think is going to be incorporated in our defense as well. So seeing that he already has this in his bag, man, I'm excited. So let's let's check this out. Again, do you see how far back? Take a seat, he's, big fella. How far back he's pushing the lineman off the ball? Damn. Every remember when we we're talking about uh, Tyler Johnson's film, you can find mm -hmm. him because he was the closest to the line of scrimmage. You can find who is blocking him because they're the closest to the quarterback. Of course, he of course. bullies guys back. And then this in the pick six right here. That's what I like. See, hey, when that defensive lineman get after it, it creates plays for the defensive backs, right? Yes, it does. 
We'll see it again here. You guys should be excited, boy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm excited. Knew, they knew we needed to work in the trenches. I'm telling you guys, we were just trenches away. That matters. We, you know what I'm saying? This matters. The, game, the game's going to change this year. The defense is going to change. This is a big get for Colorado. So let's watch them right here. Great play. Absolutely great play. Door flag, most likely for a hold. Let's watch it from this angle. So he's not the edge of the defense right here. So this is his gap right here. But watch how he explodes through him. Wow. And keeps this free. So remember I talked about how not just going just head on with the guy. He hits him with a power move, then gets free. Now running back has nowhere to go. Gets him right there. He he can play. He can play. If if anyone was confused or think we was getting trash back up recruits, yeah. <laughs> he can play. Love it. Again, hey, you're not supposed to get moved like this, man, as a as an offensive lineman, especially not the offensive lineman for one of the top teams in the country. Or that might be a tight end. Oh man, that's that gotta end? be a tight I end. I hope it's a tight end. Oh, we yeah, have, bro. But hey, you know what, yeah, tight yeah. end? If it's you tight are end. tight end, go switch your jersey number real quick. <laughs> bad that is beautiful by him right there creating pressure again even though this isn't showing up showing up on the stat sheet just him getting a cloak getting close affects the way the quarterback's thinking and able to throw the ball now i'm not a fan of the quarterback hurry stat because i think that stat itself can be flawed but something like this as soon as you turn around you see your uh tight end getting driven back into your face that affects you that affects you for sure. Great play by the uh, DB. You know, I got to shout out the DBs. You know, I got to give my DB love. All right, we got him here playing defensive end at the bottom of the screen. Again, putting him, putting the uh, tackle all the way in the quarterback's lap. All the way in his lap. Man, bro. Like, wow. he, he's strong, man. Go go check our film last year for my defensive Somebody line. said, but the team in white is trash. Louisville is one of the top teams in the country last year. Yeah. Like, had they beat I, Florida State in the ACC championship, they would have had it. I don't know. Want, I don't understand. Yeah, I, I don't know why you yeah. even went there. with. Let's go back to yeah, him putting that uh, tackle in that quarterback lap. <laughs> Bro, right in his lap. Room service delivery. This is what you want to see in your pack. God. Somebody, Somebody get said, that man a chair. You think he's better than Sam. I think him and Sam are different. He's more of a power rusher. I don't think he's the elite edge rusher and pass rusher that Sam is. Like Sam, Sam has the tools as far as being an elite edge rusher. But uh, I think they complement each other. I think Sam's more of a speed rusher, even though Sam can use speed to power. And I think uh, Hayes is more of a, a power rusher. Nah, yeah. studio. We wearing Love we wear gold prime color glasses. Nah, it's facts, bro. Film don't lie. Anybody that follows our channel, you obviously must be new. Like it, it, it. it you better go back and watch that. Kamari studio video. just called one of the best uh, teams in the country trash and said we need to see a better team. Like, uh, ain't, ain't no point in entertaining him no more. <laughs> all right, so here he is at end again, driving the tackle all the way back into the quarterback's lap. You don't, I mean, we didn't see this happen a lot for us. So you, y'all know you don't see this that often in college football. Look at, man, just manhandling him all the way back to the, and what he does right here is speed to power. So it looks like he's doing a speed rush right here. And oh, just so y'all see. <laughs> Look, bro. Put man, y'all know I who that boy number eight over there is. We got, we, oh. we got Sam and Day on. Look you at see that. how they're closing that, that pocket. Look what's coming. I'm excited. I'm excited for the boys to be back on the field. Boulder. Really excited. All right, we got day on here. I'm He's sure a real problem, team. bro. He's a real problem. Him should dozy. Oh my gosh. So he he was wreaking havoc this game, and because of that, you see now they got a tight end to chip him. What chipping means is when you add another player, it could be a running back, could be a tight end. That means they just want to get a chip of him, just a little bit. Uh, of of them on the block to help this guy have yeah. more time. When help comes in, that means you're doing more than your job. Yeah, more <laughs> they got to help. <laughs> and and you see what happens on contact. I'll do it slow. There's contact, and yeah, 
70 or 74, whatever, did not impede his contact or his movement at all. He was just right in the way. 74 is the nail and Hayes is the hammer. Let's see like that, that DN right here. Love that speed move. Woo, he got blessed right there. And still <laughs> gets him to throw it away. So watch him right here. Love that swim move. Gets there. God, Willie's the running back. Driving right. Willie, yeah, poor running back, bro. Now, only thing I will say on this is during the speed rush, you don't want to let him get a chance to escape out. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's funny. Yes, they will. Uh, so, yeah, you don't want to let them get a chance to escape out. But what's happening right here for this play is number 30 right here, the linebacker, he has this running back and man coverage. So when the mm -hmm. running back goes to block, that means that he's free to add on to the blitz. I appreciate you, Regina. Appreciate uh, watch you. Out since you started dropping uh, all the time. Love your show. Awesome. We appreciate you. Appreciate. Definitely appreciate the love. Like, subscribe, and share while you're here. So, yeah. So 30, he's covering the running back. So when the running back decides that he's blocking and 30 knows that he's not going out for a passing route, that means 30 can add on to the blitz. So as soon as he sees that, okay, now 30 can go to the quarterback and the quarterback throws it away. So really good situation there. All right, got him again. So we got him right here standing up. Let's see what he got all the way into his lap. Bro, this he is drives big them bats. all the way it's back. It's funny you said that lap. when you just said with that film. <laughs> yeah, Shout out Steve. Yeah. Facts, bro. Exactly. You cannot Facts. discipline your kids. <laughs> After they watch him do this to you all night. Like, oh my God. That's not going to work well <laughs> yeah. at all. But you Let's should be excited. I'm telling you guys, go back and watch our film. Man, this is the trench work we talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let, the haters are going to be haters regardless. There's, there's nothing that. But this is what I'm talking about. This is the upgrade. This is the pass rush. This brings the sacks. Like this, this matter has mm -hmm. always been about the trenches. Everybody know Colorado's coming with the, uh, with the, position players but the trench yeah. work because coach prime even said it back at jsu he's like look the only difference but he got him and and what coach prime also said is that he wanted to build the team last year from outside in meaning mm -hmm. the cornerbacks the receivers want to get those guys first and then build the interior now we're seeing them start to build the interior um we just got a chat uh from buffs since 89 appreciate you um, how many guys are usually in the rotation during any given game for D linemen, eight to 10. Yeah. Like there are, you, yeah. you have a lot of different D linemen, um, going through the process. So yeah, D linemen, you're going to get a heavy rotation. Typically now, if you got a guy that just has great stamina and mm -hmm. can just go, then you're good. But more specifically, the defensive tackles, you know, those big fellas, especially after chasing the ball, like we see Chidozi do and, you know, Amari McNeil, they're going to need some rest. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. They're going to need some rest. Um, all right, let's check out the next one. Got all the way in his lap. <laughs> That's a thing, <theme>, bro. <laughs> All right, then I think I got one clip of him versus Florida State. Wait, who's the team in white? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trash, you let homeboy tell it. So I like this. He got a stick move. So he's lined up here. Stick move means he's coming to this gap here. Swim moves on <clears> him. <throat> Goes to where the running back's going, which is good. Makes the running back stop his feet again. He doesn't necessarily make this play. His teammates are supposed to be able to make this play now. Supposed to be right. I just there. got yep. into the backfield and made this running back completely stop his feet. Y'all got to. Where's come my help. linebackers? Got to come help. But you see him still pursuing the ball. You know, obviously, you know, I love, love guys that continue to pursue the ball and, you know, guys that want to be around the ball. So that is what we got for Mr. Let me see if I can pull him up again. All my files left. When, uh, when you took that, that. uh, yeah, no, Dayon Hayes, bro. Look, he showed high IQ. He puts offensive linemen <laughs> right next to their quarterback. Bro, look. And he got that motor. I, I, him and Sam? Shadozi? Right <laughs> oh, they're going to be great. It's going to be, gonna be absolutely great. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they do together as a unit. I'm excited to see him back with Sam. 
Them man, haters gonna man. be mad. They gonna be big mad. <laughs> I mean, they're always gonna be mad. That's just that's just a part of the game. Let me see. Here we go. Finally, hard to find who's who. But yeah, so last year, 45 total tackles, 25 solo, 20 assists, four sacks, one first fumble. Not sure how many tackles for loss he had, but I'm sure it's a good amount and he can play. So he's going to be in a new system. Um, I expect him, I'm going to tell you right now, I expect him to come in and start. So I, I got him and Sam as my starters. I think we got pit starters at both of the DNs, and I think they're going to complement each other really well. This is a huge gift for Colorado. because Very, very said, huge gift. I've said it for a while. I didn't think that we had another pass rusher. Like, he solidified pass rusher. Mm -hmm. Not just, you know, a guy that we can plug in it, but like a guy who's like, Teams got to worry about in game plan around. Dayon and Sam together, especially now they're both going to be full time starters together. I think I think people people need to worry about Colorado's pass rush. People need to worry about them like like right now, like yeah. right 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 now. So, it's going to be it, nice. It's going to be exciting. Oh, well, 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 uh, somebody got a comment out here for you, bro. They want they, Mr. Willie want to know something. Yes, um, I mean, we're going to have to see when he comes. I ain't going to harp on him too much. You know, we watch mm -hmm. the videos. We're just going to see what happens when uh, when he comes to Colorado. <laughs> yeah, he got to um, – yeah, we're going to see what happens when he comes to Colorado. But let's get to uh, – let's get to Dallin. Let's get to Dallin next and see how he's going to contribute. We got 1,300 people in here. Make sure y'all like him. Please so do. Don't, YouTube, don't try to do us bad again. Make sure y'all like him. Um, sharing subscribing to the channel because yeah we get, a, we get a lot of people watching man we have somebody that said they've been watching us from day one but just subscribed like last week like how you just subscribe wow bro and you've been here three months <laughs> since later. day one <laughs> it's hard to get I mean, people man. to hit that subscribe button bro yeah unfortunately really is. how you feel about dallin though i mean because man that alton you know that that was a hit bro yeah the the, the thing that people got to realize about alton like y'all can say whatever y'all want about how people have been doing and you know, how we haven't seen him in a few years or so, bro. He had 18 touchdowns as a true freshman. That's that's, nuts. that's, that's no small feat. Like that's, that's a 18 as a true fresh is crazy. So mm -hmm. really excited to see what he does, you know, where he ends up going. Uh, we have no ill will towards him. Wish it could have been here, but I think Dallin is definitely going to be um, a really good fit for us. No, let's I agree. With, I, I agree a thousand percent, man. Well, let's 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 see what he do. Yeah, you don't know if you agree. Yeah, hold on. Let the let's see the film. Let's make sure make Get sure that just paper. making stuff up. Let's go. Let's see what he do. So I got shoot about four minutes of clips from him. Finally, I don't have to put arrows on because he's the running back. And if, <laughs> hey, you if might, might want to explain that, like, who yeah. the running back is, bro. The running back is always in the backfield, somehow, some way next to the quarterback. So, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. So we so we can just check them out there. Let me get this where I want it. Let's go up here with this. All right, so let's check them out here. Okay, one. Let's let's start. Let's. Yeah, he can run, man. He can run. Watch him right here. Love it. Love it. Love yeah. it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he can run. Good patience. And what you see, you didn't see it on that play specifically right there, but he puts his shoulder down. He put, hold on. Uh, can you put that comment up about BJ Green real quick? Let me get that out of the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, Super see. chat from FPSD. Yeah, let's see if I can get to it. You should, oh, here, wait, nope, that's not him. No, it's higher. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't know why y'all be 20 cal like this. If y'all know me by now <laughs> and know certain things that ain't gonna fly, like I don't know what to tell y'all, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let that resonate. Y'all, y'all can figure that one out. You, you funny for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, what where did he use it at? Because I heard somebody say he's been mentioning them. Mentioning him uh, since we did the video on him, but I haven't seen anything yet. I really, really, really hope that he gets a scholarship from Colorado. Yeah, that's your I that's your guy. Desperately, that is uh, your guy. Appreciate shout you, out eighty five X is appreciate it. Appreciate back it. to the film room. All right, let's get it. So we got Dallin Hayden toting that thing. 
this is against Purdue. This is this past year as well, where he didn't get a lot of opportunities, but when he did get opportunities, he made the most of them. And that's what matters. Absolutely. So I put this play on here because he's the whole reason that that touchdown would have happened. He ended up, uh, I think they're in Wildcats, so I think this is another running back with the ball. But mm -hmm. I just like seeing his willingness as a blocker and his willingness as a teammate. He knows he's not getting the ball. He's not about to score right here. But watch this block that he makes to set up this touchdown. And we'll be able to see mm. it from the other angle as well. I don't believe Dallin has committed yet. I see people in the comments asking about it. This is a key block right there. It gives him that cutback lane. He basically takes up two guys in one, and then guys able to get in the end zone. Basically, get in the end zone, but you know, didn't quite. Thirty three is the quarterback. That's bananas. Well, this is number six, the quarterback, so that got to be a backup quarterback. But anyways, here we go, right here. Downhill, north and south runner. This is what we need. Second and yes, short. Yeah, I agree with you. We don't have to put the ball in the air, in the air. like we did last year. Yeah, uh, they got to get him out of 33. Like, that's crazy. Uh, they don't like him. But anyways, here we go right here. Patient, following his blocks. Like I said, runs behind. he runs behind his pads. And what I mean by that is his pads are usually the first – his shoulder pads are the first thing that hits who's tackling him. Contact's made right here at, like, the 38, and you see he gets an extra five from where contact's made. That's going to be really important for us. Moving forward, Kev said fourteen hundred people in the chat, only thirteen likes. I don't think it's updated, bro. But uh, I hope not. But yeah, I better get the like and come well, on, yeah. man. You know what it is? We'll, pre we'll pretend it's updated. Stop all Before. the film. Get the likes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's check him out right here. It's a sweep. Love that Ooh. cut. Ooh, Again, man. running behind his pads. He's like, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Nice cut. Put your shoulder down. Keep running. He runs through contact. He's fast. He's going to be a really good running back for us. You know why he's important, though, right? Because he get cold in Boulder. And, boy, when he get in them late games in that wintertime and you got to tackle him. <laughs> oh, it's not going to be fun. Yeah, and, it's not going to be fun at all. He, he's going to be a guy that people do not want to – is not a running back. That's a quarterback from Buckeyes. He wear 30 for her. Oh, for a past Buckeye player. Well, that's dope of him. I remember uh, Michigan did some things like that where they would wear, uh, what's his name? Shoelace. Denar Robinson. I think he wore like number 99 or something crazy uh, for a few games there. Let's check him out here. Only reason I really thought he was running back, not just 33, but he wasn't in like at any other points in the game. It was mm. six playing. But here we go. Got a counter play. I got to watch this again. I just like the way he runs, man. He is smooth. He's not flashy. He puts his foot on the ground, tries to get north and south. This is the type mm. of running back that we need. Really, really good running back, really good vision. I am i don't know who uh, Ohio State started running backs were last year, but I don't know how they kept this guy. Yeah, Devin Gardner, number 98. Um, thank you. Touchdown. That's what you need. Get, get When you get on that goal line, we need, we need a back that's going to get it in, bro. Let's see him here. Man, he finds a way. Love it. Love how he runs the ball. Love how he's constantly getting vertical and he's running behind his pads. That's right. I told you I want to get cold He's a big Boulder. running back. All of our running backs are small. He's uh, I don't think he's too much bigger than Michael Welch. He's 5'10", 205. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure Micah's exact, but Micah looks like a thicker build running back too. But I love the way he runs. Really quick, gets to where he's going. Uh, I haven't seen him uh, be a home run hitter the way Dylan is. And what I mean by that is just hey, taking it to the house. Dylan, he could touch the ball on the five yard line and take it nice at any time. Right. Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure if he has this in his bag, if Dallin has that in his bag. But regardless, like I said, this game he ran for over 100 yards. I don't think he got a touch till like three minutes left in the second quarter. Like he started toting it. So let's check him out here. This is 2022 film. Touchdown versus Maryland. And this was a tight game for them. So he's not in garbage time. This was a, a tightly contested game. North and South, man. He's 
he's a one cut back. He's not trying to juke too much. He's not trying to do too much. He's getting the ball and getting to it. Now, this would have been a home run. He barely lost his balance. And what I do want to say about him is he has really good balance as well. Mm -hmm. I see. I mean, we see him when he takes hits and breaks those tackles. He usually continues to stay up. And, mm. I mean, he would have stayed up there, too. Like, again, takes a hit, good balance, stays up, gets to the crib. Love it. We need this guy, man. We need him. Yeah. Oh, I agree. He tremendously talent, helps bro. our offense. Mm -hmm. They put him back in a pistol set. Good oh, run. man, he does hit that hole, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Really good running back, man. I'm excited about him. We'll see it here. Takes that step upfield. Great. Back. And every time again, when he gets contacted, he always gets yards after one. He got contacted right there. So gets contact right here, gets hit right here, probably at the 49. And look where he lands, you know, on the other what 46. Mm -hmm. That's important. Running backs that always fall forward, running backs that add those two and three extra yards. Those are important. Another really good run. And this is against Indiana, I believe. 2022. I like it, man. I I like his patience. It seems like he really understands the scheme and what's needed from him. So we got right here. So he's stretching it out, makes that cut up field, and it gets vertical. Let's go. Gets vertical. Doesn't waste any time. He gets vertical. So that is Dallin Hayden. Really excited about him and what he brings to the table. You know, we'll answer some questions. I see that, you know, I know y'all got questions about him as well as, you know, how he fits with the running backs that we currently have. So let's check out, check out what y'all talking about in here. We definitely need, we definitely need more running backs. You can't, you know, you can't really have too many running backs really, bro. Cause it's a long season. Like people forgetting how long, how many games you talking about, bro, this year? Like real talk. 15. That's a long college football very come long a long season. way. That's a mm -hmm. very long season. Very long season. So that matters, man. Like, you know, you want to have that depth. Like, so it matters. Someone said, rather see freshman Welch. I'm gonna be honest, like we want wish him the absolute best. Y'all have seen highlights of him from a few spring practices. This is a guy that I've seen run through mm -hmm. the Big Ten. Live like games, right? That's like, very, yeah. That's a good point. No, that's we support enough. our players, but you know, and I don't think we need them. We can save that money for another O lineman. I think we're good on O line. Uh, we actually got another. Uh, uh, the Bulldogs are commit. He's coming in. Uh, we did a video on him. We're gonna post that this week. He's raw as far as his technique and stuff, but man, he tenacious, yeah. super strong. He so is not a team. Tonka truck. He's a bulldozer. <laughs> and and what I'll say about this, and it's never wishing any. It will on somebody is football. Dylan goes down. Who do we have a running back after that? Right. That started right. that played last year, right? That has in-game experience. That's why Ohio yeah. State got valuable, bro. Cotter, you know. Exactly. Right. You you can't win with just one running back. Uh somebody said we have five running backs right now. If we might have five on roster. Only three mm -hmm. will most likely travel. Usually don't travel mm -hmm. with uh more than that. How many wins this year? Eight plus, 10 plus. Anything less than 10, we have an issue. Hayden runs for 1,000 yards easy. I mean, he ran for 550 or whatever in the Big Ten where he wasn't even a starter in only right. 100 carries. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm yeah. good with that. Yeah. I'm good with that. Michael, well, again, we root for – that's crazy. He got You see, that's a Tacoma Rainier's. No, uh, logo I, that he got. Oh, yeah, I see it right here. Mm -hmm. uh, but Michael Welch is going to take running back one. Yes, we want him to do great. Have we seen enough to say that? No, it's spring football. Like, he's going to have to get established before we can just start saying. I think we get a little bit too hyped from the well-off media videos. Uh, mm. Like, yes, it is exciting. We're in the offseason. It's really exciting to see our players play. But we got to see them in game mode. I've seen this guy in game mode. Like, we got to. Yeah, gotta that, come that back. Matters. Yeah, yeah, we gotta come back to reality uh sometimes and wait before we declare this till we see somebody play at the college level. 
because college level is different, man. It's, it's, it's really different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And like, I, I'm not understanding where that's coming from at all. Uh, I don't know. Tag town two, five, three. That's where CT used to live. Bro, I'm I'm from Seattle, born and raised. So yeah, we <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> hey, you know, everybody's talking about you see a lot of comments about the linebackers, bro. About the linebackers, they about to find out Colorado got a Bentley. Yeah, <laughs> boy. A Bentley, oh, a Wester, boy. and we and we might get a few more. Um, let's see, we got Hayden on my but guys was running back three this past season. I know he good. I think he's more running back one type back. We agree. We think he's, you know, a starting running back type back. And hold on. What the hell? This type of 6'2", 242 running back. I don't know. I got to. We got to gotta look him up. I got to see some film of that because that's, that's, I don't know. That's, that's different. Yeah. I got to see some film, film of him because that's, that's special. Uh, we knew Dylan was going to start after the well-off videos you know dylan was balling in the well-off videos uh for sure but i mean there's other guys again no ill will to him. javon antonio looked like megatron in the well-off <laughs> videos last summer so i'm telling well, y'all just please trust what i'm saying so y'all don't get too disappointed y'all a lot of people are just jumping here here we go that the fans get too hyped over handpicked footage mm -hmm. And we're not saying that uh, they're trying to just show good or anything like that, but y'all got to realize this is practice, like not just practice, this is spring practice. We are seeing things that we want to see, just like we didn't see much of Cromani getting killed last um, fall camp as far as on video. I saw enough mm -hmm. that I needed just from his feet because I, mm -hmm. I can judge DBs from very little just seeing how they move. But yeah, y'all got to realize, you know, I hope Michael Welch does great. But y'all not going to play like this guy coming from the Big Ten isn't going to be a dog who already ran for 500 in the Big Ten. No, I, yeah, I agree with you 100%. Yeah, 100%. Appreciate you, Kev. Uh, I'm going to check it out for sure. And thank you for another super chat. Big G, uh, I sent Uncle Neely your video, Jermaine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, yeah, I want to see. Uh, that's t -Cow guy. That is his yeah. guy. I'm, I'm, you, I'm, I'm standing on the table. I'm <laughs> I'm banging against the table. Please need needed him. Penny Boone had 1400 off 194 carries. That's crazy. That's a lot. That is a lot. How long ago did he enter the portal? If Dallin Hayden transfers over, will he be immediate an immediate starter? I don't think Coach Prime does any immediate starters. As far as when they transfer over, uh, I think obviously guys got to earn their spot. But do I think that he's going to be starting? If yeah, I think he's going to be starting. And that's not to say Micah's not going to play. That's not to say Dylan's not going to play. But I think if Dallin Hayden comes, I think he will be our starter. So do you want me to touch on Penny Boone for a little bit or you want me to just let it go? Because I, I pulled his stats, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So he was the Mac offensive player of the year, first team all Mac. He led the Mac. Uh, he was eight, he was eighth in the nation with 1400 rushing yards, tied mm -hmm. with uh Brian Kobach, ninth highest total in school history. Bro, he was 11 in the country. He averaged 107 rushing yards per game. That's a lot. He was getting bro, check this 7.22 yards per carry. I assume so because. He didn't have that many carries to have 1,400 yards. Like, that's – yeah, somebody just said this. Uh, yeah, no, that's, yeah, that, yeah. How long ago did he uh, enter the, the port of Boone is expensive? It's cool. We, we, <laughs> we just got money from Cormani. Um, but, but yeah, how uh, how long ago did he enter the portal? Well, it, he's probably been in there for a minute. Boone will transfer uh, next year from CU. We don't need him. I'd be surprised if he was in there for a minute because he – those are some crazy stats. Is Big 12 run heavy? This is a loaded question. <laughs> One, there are some run heavy teams in the Big 12. Like Oklahoma State had the leading rusher, uh, I think maybe even college football, but they were still a pass-heavy team. If you look at the attempts, they were passing way more than running. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some teams, Kansas, uh, Texas Tech, uh, other teams that were – running the ball heavy. It's 
because their quarterback sucked. Like, I'm to be honest, they just had bad. <laughs> Damn. All right. And if you go through the conference stats, the Big 12 rushing defense had the worst rushing defenses in college football. So if I already know that I don't have an elite quarterback and I know that the rushing defenses are here are bad, I'm going to run the ball. Um, now, is that because of choice, or because of need? And I think it's more because of need, but we got everything we need to shut down the run. So I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah, West Virginia is run heavy. West Virginia is one of the run heavy ones. Utah, again, quarterback play. That's a part mm-hmm. of it. I don't think Arizona is going to be run heavy, but we'll see. Everybody's talking about this Penny Boom. He entered the portal four days ago. Okay. Well, shoot. I'm sure I got. What y'all say? Was he Toledo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I got Toledo film. So let me let me check him out. Let me see if I got Toledo. Yeah, he's definitely Toledo, bro. Seven yards of carry is. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. But I, uh, like people said, I'm sure he's going to want to break the bank. Okay, I got Toledo versus Illinois. Ooh, that might be the only one I got, but you know, one's better than nothing. I have to look more, but yeah, I'm gonna see if I got more Toledo. Uh, they say, yeah, Wilkinson Wilkerson is injured. He said he is Jerome Bettis 2.0. That would be yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that'd be the book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and the thing I'll say about that is there's certain running backs that don't fit certain systems well. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is uh like if you have a system where your running backs always going to be in shotgun which means the quarterbacks you know backed off of the center and you're requiring a running back that's going to be a better lateral mover because of the type of run plays that you're having instead of just running downhill derrick henry's not going to be as, as successful in that mm-hmm. you know jerome bettis wouldn't have been as successful in that and if you get guys that are really like dylan edwards you don't want to put him in a pure power running scheme where he is constantly having to be in I formation and run straight up the A gap. Like you got to work to people's skill sets. So I'm not even sure if his skill set really fits Colorado's offense per se. But um, I mean, I'm sure that they're going to take a look at him for sure. Kobe ain't coming. Wimpy will be though. Man, y'all don't get me excited, man. <laughs> I, That's your guy, I Wimpy. That. Um. Big J, I do not have any film on him. Try to find some. I've seen clips as far as the TV copy on him, but yeah. there, there's only so much that you can ju- judge from the TV copy. Uh, another, let's let's start working to this guy right here. Make sure I get the right one. Oh, not him. Hold on. Got all these orange. All right. Elijah. So let's check out Elijah Herring. Linebacker. 6'3", 238. A, a linebacker. We know you love them linebackers. So uh, you can go through his stats, CT. Tell us a little bit, a little bit about him. Look, bro. Uh last year, Tennessee, he had 80 tackles, four tackles for loss, a half sack, one pass breakup. Bro, the year before, he had 11 tackles. He went from 11 tackles to 80 tackles. <laughs> it's a significant difference. Yeah, yeah, it's gigantic. Get your butt to Boulder. Let's get it done. So I got a few clips of him. He's a younger guy. Uh, I'm not sh- certain, uh, complete certain, but I think he may have three years left of eligibility, which you know would be really great for us. And he's a guy that I've watched uh, more extensive film on him, mm-hmm. and he's going to need – He's going to need to be coached up on some things, but he's a good linebacker right now. He's a younger guy, but, you know, I think that with the right coaching, we can get him to where he needs to be. And that's really what we're looking for is mm-hmm. the sign of a good coach and a good program. Uh, ironic enough, people have been talking about it with Kermani, but just in general is the ability to develop these guys that are good, have the talent, but just need to be able to take that next step. I think he's one of those guys that is just there being able to take the next step and become a dog. Now, everybody that we get that actually signs, we're going to do a full film breakdown on each person, Mm -hmm. just like we do everybody else showing the good, the bad, everything. But for this purpose of guys that aren't here yet, we just want to highlight them for you so you can see what they're capable of. And yeah, uh, show you guys what we can possibly expect. So let's, let's check them out. Some got a few clips, maybe three or four plays from them here. Here he is. This is against Iowa and the ball game. Now, I will say Iowa's offense was rough last year. 
I, I don't think yeah. they put up a point versus. Like, did you uh, make Michigan. a bet about that they weren't going to score a point? I made a bet that they would score a point. And oh. They failed me. <laughs> so here we go, right here. Let's check him out. Great play, sack on the quarterback. And, and this was a delayed blitz. Like the fact he was still able to come home or get home to the quarterback, uh, this was impressive. So a delayed blitz right here. And from the looks of it, so it may just be a true delay or he may be in man coverage like I talked about before on the running back. And then when he sees the running back blocks, he knows he can go. But he's delaying, comes out there, makes a great sack. Yeah, he came, and, boy. He came. He came down and got that. I like that little dip he did right here because he made them think he's going inside, then pops out outside, gets to the quarterback, mm. gets home for the sack. All right, we got him right here playing linebacker against Iowa near the goal line. Scrapes over the top. Got some nastiness to him. Yeah, bro. So he's scraping over the top. His teammate misses, misses the tackle, but he's still in heavy pursuit. Gets him down, slams him on the ground. Good play. All right, here we have him outside on the edge. Love that rush move right there. Like, get off to the me. quarterback. Love that rush move. I like guys that refuse to be blocked and know how to get off. What do you always say about being blocked? Them. What do you say about it's being choice. blocked? <laughs> being blocked is a choice. You can choose to be blocked or you can say, I'm not going to be blocked. Yanks him down, gets vertical, gets home on the quarterback. Really good play by him. I think we've got another clip here. Let's see. Gets the bat down. Oh, yeah. Get them hands up, buddy. Yeah, like this. So he's coming, oh, eyes on the quarterback. Oh. Knows he can't get to him. Makes a play. I, I'm liking this dude, bro. I, yeah, this is good. Yeah, he makes some good plays, man. We just... We just got to get him in, get him into our system. I know he visited. I'm not sure if he committed. I think we only have two commits right now currently from this weekend. But, you know, we brought in uh, six guys, I believe, mm -hmm. six six transfers. So it's a big weekend for us for sure to be able to get some guys home and, you know, guys that we can add, add to that lineup. And I do believe – so he was visiting as well as Nakai. I'm sure you guys have already seen Nakai's tape. If you guys haven't seen his tape, uh, we got a full video on it. We got three commits. Who Who's the three? Somebody just said four out of four. So y'all be telling me different stuff, man, y'all. <laughs> yeah, who we got? Let me know who we got. But uh, Nakai visited. He's a linebacker that he can trigger, he can go, and he can run. He's a former yeah. Michigan linebacker. I think I got his profile up here, actually. Former Michigan linebacker ended up transferring to Charlotte. He's 6'2", 232. He's a linebacker who moves like a safety, which is a good thing. He's really fluid mover, really, really fast, and can close. We got two D linemen. Or, okay, so Dayon, the offensive lineman, and the Ohio D lineman, but some of y'all saying four still. Yeah, no, Who's four number four? Yeah, Who is number four? Uh, can can y'all tell us who four is? I see. I know we got Ohio. I know we got Pitt. And so I know we got now, offensive line. I stand three. Now we're back to three. <laughs> Man, y'all hilarious. All right, so we're going <laughs> we to keep it rolling. <laughs> We're going to keep it rolling. Who else we got that visited? Okay, so this is, I believe he's one of the ones that committed. Didn't have film on him, unfortunately, but I did see some clips from the TV copy. 6'3", 277, defensive tackle. This past season, he had 30 total tackles, four and a half sacks. Um, and I think he had a decent amount. Of... Yeah, they gave him a four-star rating in the transfer portal. He's the number did 18 they? defense lineman, yeah. Okay. Awesome. 77 overall. Appreciate you, Xavier. And... Yeah, we have we have him on here too. We don't have no film from him because I don't think he's played at the college level yet. Uh, the tight end from UNLV got you. Was that this weekend? I thought that was a few days ago. But man, everything at this point been been a blur. But yeah, I, I do remember that he committed. But uh, I'm excited to get my hands on some film of him. 
got to go back to black market decal and <laughs> and try to see where I can get some film of a man. And uh, somebody said, but Elliot added again. Yeah, he's a funny one, man. Hey, you know, uh, we're we going to drop that Bentley film. We're going to see what you're talking about. We need a linebacker. You're going yeah. you to be surprised. I'm, like, I'm telling y'all, well, we're in the same, we're in the same boat. We're like, Hey, we need more. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Bentley can play. I'm telling y'all, we're going we're gonna to drop that this week. We promise. All right. So here's Peyton Kirkland, who people are asking about. Ignore the weight on here. You know, ESPN did that incorrectly. Yeah. I promise you not 250. Yeah, because so the bulldozers are the heaviest. Well, he the, the bulldozer was before him. He just committed mm. like today. Uh, oh, I see. And, I yeah, he's 350, but it said in high school he was like 385, 6'6, 385. I don't know if I've ever seen a football player that big. 12 and a half TFLs. That got to be career. That has to be career. If that's this season, then that's crazy. I think that got to be career. But yeah, 6'6, 350. He was at uh, Texas. Do you have what he was ranked coming out of high school? Uh, out of high school, he was a four star. Um, okay. He was ranked uh, 55 in Florida, number 18th interior lineman out of everybody. And then out of the transfer portal, he's 446 overall and 23rd offensive tackle. So it's not like he switched positions. What did they have him at originally? What position? Uh, it looks like they, as you said, uh, Inside inside offense alignment. So maybe yeah, they, they had seating at that too. They don't need to mm -hmm. talk so about I don't yeah, I don't but, know if they're reaching or whatever. I don't know what that is. But yeah, but the the thing with guys like this, and that, that was so frustrating for me is I'm trying to look at guys in the portal, is he didn't play at Texas. So they got mm -hmm. high school film and then they probably have practice film that they've seen of him. So as far mm -hmm. as us, we have you know, we're not able to break that down. Um Bentley don't have any awareness. He I was about to highlight that coming too, bro. That's, this ain't going to age well at all. If, 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 if we weren't going to separate that video, i just drop the video now and, and yeah. just put it in here right now. Oh, my God. But, but, Bro, no, it gotta make be separate. sure I'm, you I'm hit that notification bell because when that Bentley video dropped, boy, look, when, I had to When have we told you guys wrong? When have we told y'all wrong about somebody? Trust us. I'm telling you. I'm going to explain everything that happened in that video. Uh, mm -hmm. Need that running back from the Buckeyes? Yeah, we definitely do. We will not be at the spring game, unfortunately. Uh, we will be at some games this year, though. Yeah, we was debating on which one. Sound like Florida, huh? Uh, the Road UCF, game. yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. the goal. And I don't like spring games in general, anyways. And I'm not gonna see nothing about this. Yeah, spring games are for the fans, just like to have an event for the fans. It's gonna be, it's gonna be on TV. We have a new defense coordinator, new offense coordinator. What that means is we're not going to be showing much. They're not going to be doing exotic blitzes. They're not really going to get deep in their playbook. Starters may not play uh, very long. So it's it's not going to be something that we, we really wanted to watch. Now, what I would have done and I would have paid for it is to get into one of those um, spring scrimmages beforehand. Because mm. the scrimmages, that's where it's all out. That's where you really getting after it. You know that you don't got outside cameras there, so you run it. You run in your place, but the actual spree game is not going to be the same as you know what we're what we're going to be seeing during this season. Uh, thank you. Um, I don't know what this is in response to, but yes, we review entire game film and any plays that they're involved in. We're gonna put them up right now for these transfer guys. We're just showing highlights of them so you guys can see you know their potential because I'm not gonna do a full breakdown on somebody and we don't even know if they're coming. Like that's mm -hmm. just pointless. So right now we're just doing the, the their highlight plays. But when they come, it's it's nice. What is the scoop on Bentley? So I can tell you, everybody was talking down on Bentley. Mm -hmm. We heard it everywhere. We heard the narratives and everything. Yeah. And when you watch the film him the first half of the season versus the second half is a completely different player he was able to play fast and he was different like yeah. completely one 180 from how he was earlier in the season the issue that bentley had last season was they had he had a lot of one it was a super complex defense mm -hmm. and for those that don't know i played in that exact same defense when i was in college so i know the defense is very complex and it's hard for guys to get um 
to be really successful and play fast at it year one. Now, throughout the season, he started getting it more and you could see he was able to play fast because when I was first watching the film, especially the early film, I said, hey, he's not an instinctual linebacker. Like he wasn't making instinctual plays. And what I noticed because I kept watching film is the reason that he wasn't instinctual is because he wasn't in a position where he could play fast. Some right. linebackers can play fast in those systems where they have to two gap, meaning they are responsible for two gaps on different plays. But Bentley is at his best when he doesn't he have knows his gap. He knows I got to do. You give me my job. I'm there. Look, exactly. I ate a lot of crow, bro. Look, I I was screaming. <laughs> we need linebackers, right? You you got something special in Bentley. When the video dropped, we recorded it last night. We, 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 we let it go. I'm just trying to let you know, like, like Bentley is that guy, bro. I'm like, you gonna tell y'all, like he Oregon State game was crazy. He had like four plays back to back to back to back. If if I pulled his clips just from the Oregon State game and then had showed them on here, you guys would be saying he is someone we have to have in the transfer portal. We have to get him to Colorado. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Y'all be like saying, that. hey, pay him whatever y'all want to pay him we have to get him here and we ain't told y'all wrong uh so far yet so um let's see what do you attribute to bentley's improvement coaching or competition from juju i don't think it was competition um i think coaching was a part of it and then the scheme that he was in and there's plays that i point out in the film where he's doesn't get to his gap on time mm -hmm. and it's because of where he's aligned to start the play and i wanted to see him like with certain you got you got to coach different guys different like people love being able to disguise plays and hey i'm gonna have my linebacker lined up three gaps over but he's gonna come get here at the end of the day if your disguise is affecting your ability to achieve what you're supposed to during that play hey bentley this show gap you and the b gap stand over the b gap as soon as they hike the ball go run through somebody's face and bentley can do that he can run through somebody's face then again i'm gonna what I'm telling y'all is I'm watching his film originally hearing everything y'all saying. So while I'm watching his film. I'm like, man, he should be able to make this play. Man, elite linebacker going to make this play. Film keep going on. He make those exact plays. And right. I'm telling you, it's going to be so clear. You'll see plays. Uh, me and CT watched it where the lineman move four steps and he hasn't moved yet because he's thinking. Mm -hmm. He's worried about two gap and he's worried like he's not playing fast. Then you'll see plays where he moves before Anybody on offense moves and comes and blasts the running back in the backfield. That's when he's able to uh, play fast. And plus, you know, uh, you know, Bentley, like when you watch the film, you realize, damn, it's not just the linebackers, bro. The defense, like we had no, like no defense, like no defensive line. No, but like you're going to see it. Like you're going to see it. Watch. And it is going to change your perspective because you can't help but change your perspective. When you see the film, you be like, I didn't realize the defensive line was so bad last year. Like it, it matters, bro. Like it matters. It, it it completely changes the way he's able to play. We're seeing guys get blown off the ball, gaps the size of dump trucks open up, and now he got to like you know you, I'm I'm telling y'all y'all got to take everything into account. And if y'all know the channel, y'all know I don't sugarcoat nothing. So if I'm telling mm -hmm. you this is 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 definitely for a reason. Um, just joined and excited about everyone, but only here from the Cottonville Green News. I'm hoping he commits. Uh, I haven't got any word on it yet. I think he has another visit to take to Texas A&M. But Bentley, the truth, and so is Jalen Wester. I believe it. And we we hadn't even watched Bentley's film until he got announced as a starter because we was hot. We were like, we what? Hot. Over Wester? Over What's going on? Hot. <laughs> we was pissed. Hot. Oh, my God. Got I'm hot telling you, we, we, we was in the same position, but then we watched it. Okay, yeah, we, he, we see he, he makes some plays, mm -hmm. and it, and he said it, and Bentley said it, and and it goes back when he did the interview, and he said, "Man, it's wild that I have a defensive line and the gaps are opening up." Mm -hmm. And you gonna yeah, see, take that quote and watch the film, and you gonna get it. Absolutely. So who else did we did we touch on these guys on here? Let's see, Dayon Dog, Nakai Dog, Rand Dog, Elijah Dog. Dallin Hayden. Yeah, so those are those are the guys that we had this weekend visiting. Uh, Bentley got better, but everybody wants to run with Coach Hart. Bad narrative. Um, 
but the defensive line was trash last year. Yeah, I think I think they both they both fed off each other. Linebackers were the issue at points. Defensive line were were the issue at points. Sometimes they're both the issue. Uh, so I mean, this is gonna be the year. This we is got solid, all the pieces you need. And this is a very solid point about the anchoring because when you watch the Bentley video, mm-hmm. it's gonna like you be like, yeah, yeah, go sap got him on that part, no doubt about it. Mr. Gray, and, you own it. And that's what we told people from when we watched Shadozi's uh, the initial film and did the breakdown. Everything that's not uh everything that a defensive tackle does isn't for them to be the ones getting the stats. Mm-hmm. Like a defensive tackle, every play isn't supposed to try to get off the block quick and go, you know, sack the quarterback. There's specific schemes and jobs that they have to have, not just for them, but to help how the def- defense plays as a whole how the safeties can come fit the run, how the linebackers can come fit the run. All of those matter. So now that we got, you know, better coaching on it and better guys there that are going to help us play fast at the second level, um, I think it's going to be a a whole new deal. A little worried about life after Shadur. The backup quarterbacks don't look like the guys. I'm worried some of the receivers we have will leave. So I'm not worried about that at all, Eric, uh, because it's, it's, it's the transfer portal. And yeah. hmm. just, just imagine you're a quarterback. You see what Colorado has now. You're going to be able to see what they have this year and how they go out and dog. You know, And I'm talking about the younger guys, too. We got Cordell Russell who will be there. We got Jalon Miller. I watched them Cam films. Michael might be playing defense. Go but check that library. Got, um, who else do we have, the younger guys? Uh, I say Omarion already who's going to be crazy. You got Baby um, T.O.? Yeah, yeah, that's Cordell Russell. Mm-hmm. So Cordell Russell, Draylon Miller, and we got other younger guys that were still on roster from last year that are going to be there and will continue to get more transfers. So I think when people see what Colorado does, as far as a quarterback in the portal, they look and they chops like, hey, I just started at this school, but I know I can go to Colorado. I just saw the type of you know viewership they got, how all eyes were on them. I saw what Shadur is able to do there. Let me go and be that dog. So mm-hmm. I – I don't think the quarterback we have that will be starting in 2025 is on roster currently. Mm, necessarily. Some big words right there. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, we need Cam at corner for this year, unless that Malachi kid is legit. I like. I, I want to see Cam play corner. I haven't been able to see him play corner at all, but I also think with his speed, he can be a really, really good safety. So I'm excited. Mm. Um, he never adjusted for that slant against Colorado State. You're talking about Trevor Woods at safety? One, it wasn't slants. It was drag routes or under routes, yeah. whatever you want to call it. But um, I don't know how he was supposed to adjust as a safety to that. Uh, Will Shepard. Will Shepard's going to be gone. He's a senior. So he won't be here after this upcoming season. Kev said, get Arch Manning. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. 75-yard touchdown in spring game. Yeah. Um, people are asking, when is Will Shepard supposed to be here? I believe in the summer. Same with uh, Cordell Russell. I think they're both going to come, come in, in the summer. Cam posted on Twitter that he is going to be what Kermani was supposed to be. Y'all show me where that's at. Because if he did that, I love it. Savage. I love dogs. I love when you talk your stuff. Savage. Yeah, talk it. Hey, Carmani, go ahead and join the team in the Big 12. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be great? Mm-hmm. That'd be lovely. Because that's the uh, thing he, about it, bro. No matter where you go, you still going to have to prove it. You got to bring that film out, right? I mean, it, I think you put more pressure on you now. You, boy. I, oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all, please let me know where Cam said that. I really want to see that. We're not saying we don't think that he's any good. We have We, we ain't seen nothing from him. Like mm-hmm. he don't got game tape from before. Like we have nothing to judge off of. Uh, we'll probably see more of the backup quarterbacks during the spring game. So that'll be mm-hmm. a chance where we can see a little bit more, but you know, we're not just going to hype people off of not seeing film. Like I'm, I'm not capable of doing that. Like I, that's just something that I can't do. Uh, we talked about Ray and uh, Morvin Joseph. I don't think I'd watch any film on him. I know he's at FAU. I was trying to find film. I don't think I had mm-hmm. film on it. Uh, I don't know what 
people are talking about. Are you guys tuning in? Y'all gonna be watching that spring game? I mean, it's, you know, it's exciting. You're not gonna really see nothing though, really. The defense, just a glorified scrimmage, bro. I'm saying they ain't gonna show much of nothing. But I mean, it's, it's good though. Yeah, exactly. I said yes, he did pour more pressure on himself. I love that. I yeah, talked he did. about he put before. a lot of pressure on himself. Carmani. When I played. No, they're talking about Cam by oh. saying that about Kermani. Mm-hmm. Kermani didn't put no pressure on himself. He was just, and, anyways. Well, the disrespect uh, but, he, he gave, bro. Yeah, but but when I played, I used to talk crazy to people I was covering teams beforehand because when I back myself in the corner, that I ain't gonna let nobody call me no fraud. You ain't never mm-hmm. gonna be able to say, "Oh no, he was talking all this, but then he got exposed." That's not me. So I back myself into a corner. So I have to perform. It makes me grind harder. It. That's the mentality that I love. So that's what I'm hoping that he has as well. Um, they should live stream the game on Twitch and make money. Uh, yeah. Uh, well off media could definitely do that. That'd be cool. Mm. Russell is at CU already. No, he's not. He is. He might be on campus. He hasn't participated in any spring football. Um, like he, I know people that was just with him filming in Dallas, Texas, where he's working out. So Cordell Russell is not already there at least not in spring football but, yeah uh, you know i want to talk about you know i see this coming about the wide receivers gonna cook let me tell you something they gonna cook but colorado need the running game like have to run the ball you gotta be able to run the ball like you gotta be able to run the ball that matters so much and so we get back to the trenches this new built offensive line you know what i'm saying Shadur had got 52 sacks on him last year that was nasty unbelievable he'll put up crazy numbers <laughs> Easy, right? Come on, man. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, we can't. And me and you have talked about this. If we only split his sacks in half, go from 52 mm-hmm. sacks to 26 sacks. 26 more plays where Shadour has a clean clean pocket and can get the ball downfield. Our season looks different. So even if we can go half of that, man, we'll be in great shape. T Cal, would you take an analyst job at CU? Um, I would potentially be open to some type of remote job maybe i ain't gonna lie it's 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 been a real long time since i've had a boss i'm not i'm I'm, I'm not really the employee type so uh we'd have to see what that do but there's nothing there's nothing that could get me to colorado but something remote uh i'd be open to that four star edge the western bros could recruit okay appreciate you david um and we're gonna check him out for sure i want to see some film on him even though we don't have that many games on FAU. Shador going for 4K or 5K. At least 4K. It, and it might be a yeah. yeah. He put with, with Wester. <laughs> like, uh, like I don't think people are just go watch the Lejante film breakdown. We dropped that. That's like that 40,000 views, Lejante film breakdown. Like, and like pe- I'm telling you. People, people were laughing at me when I said it's going to Blitnikov. You go watch that film. You go watch, go watch that film breakdown. It's not Lejante the same. is different. Like Lejante should have had 350 receiving yards versus Clemson. He had over a hundred, but he was absolutely annihilating their DBs. He, yeah. He, Facts. He's one of them. Rock man, appreciate the super sticker, G. We appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all support. Single digit sacks with all this hype. If we get single digit sacks. Man, y'all might might as well book our ticket to the college football playoffs this second because <laughs> it, it, it'll be unbelievable. <laughs> the running backs better be prepared to catch screens. That's a part of it. That's a part of it. Uh, but I do think with these running backs, there are a lot of play calls, and we're, we're going to continue to do – we're going to do game breakdowns. So not just players. We're going to break down game by game mm-hmm. uh, this past season, what the offense did wrong, what they did well, what the defense did wrong, what the defense did well, so we can really see what was going on. I've seen a lot of offensive play calling that I didn't like and not necessarily uh, running back screens, but those bubble screens and quick outs, those were our running plays. They were doing those as part of our running game. And now that we have running backs, we don't have to, you know, be subject to only running those. So Mm -hmm. I think, I think our offense is going to look a lot different this upcoming season when we get a running game established and then we can do a lot more things. 4,500. I need it. I absolutely need it. You know, you know what? And I think, 
I like I said, with the new trenches, you know, we're gonna protect your door, keep that jersey clean, get that running game going. Like I'm telling you, you gotta. And then it goes back to what you play calling does matter. And you're going to see a lot of that too. If you watch last year's footage with the defense, you'd be like, dang, you know, play calling matters and adjustments. Man, you got to be able to make adjustments, bro. Like, you got to make adjustments. Mm. Hey, well, I finally found something I agree with. Uh, oh, Fligo. <laughs> What's the what do you say? Oh, yeah. Wester wide receiver yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, Wester's like that. Yeah, it says yeah, Wester yeah. slot one on Marion's wide receiver one. I'm mm -hmm. telling y'all, much as we like on Marion, Wester went. 100 catches, 1,000 yards, and was killing the big schools he played. Western can play inside, out. All right, now. All right, now. Half of 52 sacks is a ball game. There's more than that. Shoot, we should have, even last year, with all those sacks, we still mm -hmm. should have won 9 to 10 games. We get half the sacks. Oh, it's going to get real nasty. It's going to get real nasty. Um, What else we got in here? Y'all shoot y'all questions out. So we can yeah. chop it up. Hey, who you guys want to see a film breakdown from, by the way? <laughs> yeah, we got yeah, we got Jimmy Horn on the way. Or got, got him edited. We didn't film it. Bentley uh, coming. Got, got Bentley on the way. Nebraska game will tell all. That better be a blowout of blowouts. I want to see us run through them. How many all-purpose yards do y'all think Edwards will have? A thousand. I think a thousand all-purpose. Mm. Thank you. He's not overhauling the team. He's fine-tuning the engine. A lot of the guys that we had leave are not current starters. Like these are guys that were that left and guys that were getting in. These are guys that we're expecting to develop and to be here, you know, years to come. Uh, I know a lot of people hit the panic button this week. That's that's something I wouldn't worry about at all. I Might as well get used to it. It's a transfer portal. Kid, people mm -hmm. no longer have to say like if it'd be like, hey, I thought I was gonna start. I ain't, so I'm going to try to go somewhere else. That's, right. just, that's just the way it is now. Part that's a new game. game. That's part of the game. And, and we're going to do a Dylan Edwards breakdown. I just wish I had more, more plays of him from last year. Uh, mm -hmm. Bro, he's, he started off with four touchdowns as a true freshman. That is one of the most unbelievable <laughs> things I've on ever the road. seen. Like, that <laughs> does not have – that's one of the best um, first game performances as a true freshman I've ever seen like that was insane so on the road against tcu yeah, yeah I, that was that was nasty bro. i want to see a lot more from what do i think about the o-line rotation at practice I, i'm glad we got dogs well so what you're talking about is tyler johnson's going with the twos right now mm -hmm. and yeah uh your carry walker or your Kari walker is also going with the twos not so sure about walker but tyler johnson he could potentially be from the film we saw our best lineman. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see, you know, what's going on with him. I heard he was working his way back from an injury, but I want to see how he continues uh, to get where he needs to be. Cause I think he, it, the two top defensive tackles in this draft, he made them look like children. Yeah. Not part of the game, yeah. the entire game. Yeah. When they played against tech. Yeah, man. He made them boys look all bad, bro. All bad. Bro. Exactly. So yeah, like I, I'm with you on that. You know, you know, they'll be all right. They'll be all right. Hey, it's good that we got that depth, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? If that's what they're doing, how they moving. But yeah, it's, it's better that way than what we had before, where we didn't mm -hmm. have the option to have different guys. Remember, like, 52 sacks. So <laughs> it's going no better than 50, right? 52 sacks? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I Terrell to... Timmons, uh, we, we have zero film on him. Zero, zero, zero film. Uh, I want to see him, but there's just no film that we have on him, unfortunately. Mm. So you think going? To, where do you think Preston Hodge goes? Now, now that uh, Preston's still at Cormani Cor never had an impact on Preston. I'm gonna be honest with you, like that was never. <laughs> that was never. We just, I really want. I said three corners. After mm -hmm. going through these corners in the portal, I've watched at least 20 guys film. J just give me one, man. Like it's mm -hmm. it's it, it's a struggle in this spring portal, bro. Like I am having a hard time finding corners that have played that I like. Like mm -hmm. uh I need more. Appreciate you, Christian. Yeah, we we got people in here. I, I hope the likes is matching what yeah, well, you guys are deep, man. Go the likes here. and subscribes, man. Come on, bring them on. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate you, Larry. Man, you're great yeah, too. Thank bro. you, Larry. Appreciate you, bro.
And, you know, let, let's talk about, like, you know, with Colorado. You know, a lot of that, a lot of people come with the notation of, like, man, they just automatically don't like her because it's Coach Prime, bro. Like, like, mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if people be just talking reckless, like, you just be yeah. like, man, it's wow. That's what they do, man. And, uh, I mean, I can see from my Twitter uh, all the all the uh, engagements I've been getting in, how much people hate Colorado and Coach Prime. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, when when you talk the way you talk, that's how it is. People have been hating on him, you know, his whole career. That Kansas game will be an arrowhead. That'll be lit. that's dope. I did not know that. Dope. That'll yeah, be a really cool be game. Wow, bro, that's gonna be uh, wow. David Cristobal. Yeah, I didn't know y'all from the rainy city. I live in Seattle for fourteen years, thirteen years now. Yeah, I was born and raised in Seattle from the from the Central District, twenty third and Jackson. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, real Jackson baby. Wide receiver room really got some size this year. They all, yeah. So, yeah, Will, Omarion, and Cordell are all above 6'2. I think Omarion 6'2. I think Will 6'3. And I think uh, Cordell's 6'4. So, yeah, we got we got some jump jump ball guys for sure. And I mean, y'all seen mm-hmm. what Omarion's been doing in well off media for his. He's going to be special. He gonna, like, just because we love LeJounte, we, he going to be split. Omarion going to be, he one of them ones. He won them once for sure. Yeah, we probably be going to that UCF game too, bro. It looks looks like you're gonna see Buff and Prime there. I think they mean cornerbacks because they said Hodge and DJ. So Prime said we got four cornerbacks and two already signed. I assume it was Hodge and DJ. I have no idea who the other two are. I just hope we get Jermaine Wimpy his offer. If y'all haven't seen, make sure y'all go. Um, <laughs> Make sure y'all go on our channel and that's that's and, and that's check out that's guy. Oh my fault, I did not see that one. Save all videos and breakdowns for where are they now? <laughs> that girl, why do you think you're better? Thirty that for thirty, is crazy. Oh he god, reach out to us for that. T Cal, we got a five hundred dollar bet. Shiloh won't run a four four. Speak on the weed smoke. Uh, what do y'all think? I'm, I don't want my players smoking weed. Simple. I don't care if it's legal or not. Mm. Alcohol is legal. I don't want my players getting drunk before practice. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know where we got this five hundred dollar bet, at, but I uh, have to have to look at that. Spokane, man, you in the in the what the five hundred nine? That's dope. Yeah, this is hilarious, side. man. There are some black people in Seattle. <laughs> about five. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> It's running low. Oh, oh, you talking about today? But no, uh, go do your research on on Seattle going back to shoot. The oh 19, yeah, 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 back, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I was talking. Where about I grew today. up in Seattle. It, yeah, yeah, it, it's gentrified today. But when I grew up in Seattle, yeah, 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 man, one yeah. of them ones. It's, it's um, different now, bro. <laughs> That's way different. Very different. Yes, we did film on Will Shepard. He's on our. He's on our page. He actually had got into the live chat and talked about some things. So yeah, y'all can. Knew my wife was gonna chive in. Hey, yeah. love bug. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we know you're from Seattle. Yeah, love. Uh, we know. We had two weddings. <laughs> right. Um, uh, have y'all seen the? So he's in the portal, but he's been practicing and he's still there. So he not. He not really in the portal. It, I don't it, know. It's, it's weird. And you know what's weird about that, right? Because everybody. Colorado gets all that attention, no matter which way it goes. As soon as somebody hit the portal, oh, it's like, I'm going to Colorado. And I think mm-hmm. a lot of these players are starting to piggyback on that. It's sort of like, hey, <laughs> they just throwing the For Buffalo sure. sticker up there. Be like, hey, I might be going to visit Colorado. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, hello. Yeah, come on, real CD, baby. If you know, you know. <laughs> 23rd in Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Cal is known in Seattle. You go to the hood and ask about me. There this month we're moving. Uh, oh, this is the guy who had just committed. Okay, in camp, so that's the other two corners they're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely interested in seeing seeing more of more of what what they can do. And man, I tell you, I wish we had one on one video, like the full one on ones, not the clip ones of the DBs at Colorado, because I can tell you a lot if I get to watch. You know, three days, four days of one on one. So I really wish that. Really wish that we had that. Yeah, Central District ain't no joke. Yeah, I know. 
yeah. Don't sleep on it. Yeah, I grew up. It was, it was different, man. It was. It's way it different was, now. Let me tell you something. Yeah, super gentrified. It don't look the same as gentrified. Man. Boy, it's homeless five. RVs yeah, and tents everywhere. <laughs> the, the yeah, I live started. in. I live in Alabama now. Undisputed buffs. It's got to be doubt. You're hilarious. <laughs> You're funny. But uh, yeah, they know I'm nothing to play with. Uh, <laughs> hey, let's see. Do we need to go check your Twitter and give that guy? Uh, is he still alive, King? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why people just like. Just, man, if you leave me alone, I just be chilling. I promise, I just be chilling. But if <laughs> if, if, if if you gonna talk crazy. I'm the one who's going to get right up up there with you. Angel Lopez. Uh, yeah, so he's coming as well. I really liked his film. He hit mm -hmm. me up on Twitter. I really, really liked his film. He's coming from Florida. Um, I think he's a walk-on, but he signed with this class. He is fantastic at attacking the ball at the highest point. Mm. He's a 6'2 DB. Not sure if he plays corner or safety for Colorado, but we got to do a film review of him, bro. I really, well, really, really liked his film. He's liked going in the queue. Coming up. Yeah, I like this a lot. T Cal, I'm an older fan. Gen X and your film analysis is spot on. No emotion, just technical aspects of football. I appreciate you. And the people that really know, you know, know that I'm breaking down film. It's unbiased. Mm -hmm. I'm just breaking down film. But a lot of times people have feelings and emotions attached to the players we may be talking about and feel some type of way. But you, you can't blame me. You got to blame what they put on film. <laughs> the film don't lie <laughs> david what's going on we got i don't, I don't even want to lie to you about who committed because they've been correcting us um but dayon hayes the, who's who's big boy this big boy uh not him this offensive lineman from texas and this d tackle from ohio that's who we got committed today i believe can we break down gantz film we can get to that we can definitely mm. get to that. Uh, what is freshman doing here to Seattle, Alabama? Yes, Seattle to Alabama, and I love it. Huntsville, Alabama, the number one ranked city in the U.S. Oh, he ain't going back. Uh, past three <laughs> years, most affordable city in the country. Uh, who are the toughest opponents on the schedule? And this – We'll be able to answer this better, one, after this spring transfer portal is done because mm -hmm. you don't know who people are losing. Uh, but yeah. right now, the one that I'm like got circled is Oklahoma State. I think we're going we're gonna to have to come come with them for that. But, but you got to remember, you're Colorado. You're getting everybody's best. Everybody every wants to be Colorado. It's every, every week. week. Like you just know what you're signing up for. Like it's every week. Everybody's coming. Uh, Lawrence, I'm in Huntsville. Yeah. Yes, sir. Rocket City. If you ever need to buy a house, you know, number one agent, <laughs> social media in the state of Alabama. Yeah, Y'all don't know that, but that's, uh, yeah. Lawrence, come holler at me. If if you in Huntsville, you didn't see me on Facebook or somewhere. So, uh, yeah, holler at me if you, if you need to buy a house. Kobe can stay where he's at. Yeah, I mean, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in nobody that isn't actually in the portal and interested in us. I agree with you, Wild Dog, but you know what? If that's if that's where it's going to be, I'm glad it's the last three games because that train should be rolling by then, bro. <laughs> it should be rolling by then. We should be full steam ahead, bro. So, like, whoever at that point, like, we are going to be at that point, we are who we are. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we're we going to have to go through a gauntlet, but, man, I want to see us really just – if we're a championship team, this is what championship teams got to go through. You're going to have some tough games, so I expect us to, you know – make it make it happen uh quick one about huntsville what's the minimum wage minimum wage is seven dollars and 25 cents an hour however huntsville is one of the top places in the country actually number one place in the u.s for job opportunities currently and um we're touted to be the next silicon valley in the south like tech is huge here Huntsville's an awesome place all right let's get back to football um that's good. That's a, that's a good point right there. Yeah. Last <laughs> year for sure. But that's got to be their mentality going into every game. Like, really? Like, hey, they everybody's here, but nobody really going to beat us but us. You know what I'm saying? And that goes on the coaching, calling the plays. That goes on the people, uh, you know, you're doing what you're doing, knowing your assignment. Oh, you said something about that on Twitter today. Lord. <laughs> Very important. 
very important. And yeah, we beat ourselves a lot of the time last year. Mm -hmm. And it's little things like Coach Prime in the Amazon documentary and getting ready to go out for the game. And uh, one of the linebackers is hiding off to the side on his phone, FaceTiming somebody. Like, dog, you got to be locked in. It's mm -hmm. little things, man. So, yeah, we, we definitely can't beat ourselves uh, moving forward. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey. They got to learn the difference between film breakdown and fandom. You are absolutely right. And that's something that, you know, we bring that we really haven't seen, you know, anywhere else. And not just talking about Colorado, but uh, – in this in this space yeah, we break down film we're not just looking at highlight tapes because highlight tapes can be very deceiving oh, i can yeah. make a highlight oh, tape of anybody oh, and make them oh, no, like no, no, no. oh we know remember we yeah. watched a few highlight tapes and then we back yeah. to the field break down like, like, this can't be on. the same but hold on you tricked me yeah got us tricked oh, me we know. so yeah that happens are you guys going to be at the spring game unfortunately not we will not be at the spring game but We'll be at well, a couple we'll games. Be, yeah, we'll, we'll be, be at, at a couple home games. Game, and we're going to be at a road game. So. What we will be doing uh, for the spring game is hopefully we'll be able to stream um, us live like this while we're watching the spring game. So we'll be able to give our live analysis of it. But worst case scenario uh, in regards to the spring game is we will definitely be um, doing a review after. So we'll go mm -hmm. live after the spring game. If we don't during the spring game and when we do that, we're going to talk about everything we saw. We're going to break down the players we saw, talk about who we're excited about and just chat with y'all about, you know, what you guys were able to see as well. Okay. You know, you know, and I agree. And uh, so when we do lock down which games we're going to, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> 100. Here's what people say all the time. I think you guys don't understand when Shiloh and Shadur leave, goes to the pros, Deion Sanders is leaving Colorado. One, where would he go? I do not believe under any circumstance Coach Prime will coach in the pros because he does not want to coach in the pros. Another thing is if we do not win a championship, Coach Prime is not, not going nowhere. Coach Prime is not going to go somewhere, not turn the program into a winning program and leave. That's not how he's built. I'm telling you, I've never met him before. I I understand his mentality. I wouldn't do that. He he has a mission to complete. If Colorado wins a championship or two, yeah, he might leave, but he not leaving without turning them into winners. Mm -hmm. That I can tell you. Um, 10 plus wins, you got to cut the beard. I cut my beard all the time. Just, it takes me about two weeks to grow this. I go back and forth. <laughs> so another one about me having a coach Dancy fade. I do different fades all the time. That's, that's nothing. Uh, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not, Obsessed with the beard. <sighs> All right, Jared Howard, you you want attention, but I gave you enough. Gave you enough. Uh, so we don't have any film on him, Roy, but we did uh, talk about him. Four star recruit was six six three eighty five coming out. Now it's trimmed down to three fifty. That's that's a big difference. That's, that's a big difference. Uh, but yeah, I don't think he played at all at Texas this year. So we didn't have any film on him specifically, but obviously the coach and staff had seen at least practice film enough on him to want to bring him in. So it'll you be interesting what? to see what he does. Hey, you know what, bro? I don't, do you remember doing our uh, offensive depth chart? We uh, didn't. No, no, we didn't. We do kept talking chart. about it, but we sure didn't do it. We did the defense. You're right. So we got to do a couple updated. Yeah. yeah we got to um, do the offense. So, I, we, so we could do that after the spring game. That'll be a good time mm -hmm. to do that the week after the spring game, because we got other videos coming this week too. We got other videos coming. The bulldozer. Yeah, the bulldozer. What network is carrying the spring game? Ironically enough, Pac the spring 12. game is going to be carried by Pac-12. Pac-12 still, because it's still the 2023 season, like technically. So through basically like the end of the semester, I believe that they have all the mm -hmm. rights to. Um, Colorado. Uh, Pac-12 Network, yes. Kirkland has a torn ACL, right? That's tough for O-linemen. I did not know that. That is surprising because you don't see that a lot with linemen that don't play or didn't play in the season um, because they wear knee braces. Like, linemen are supposed to have those knee braces on for all practices, and that to stop them from that happening. So if that happened, that's definitely surprising. And yeah, that's a tough injury for anybody to come back from. So you won the Natty in 90. Yeah, that's when they had uh appreciate you, Lonnie. Was Cordell Stewart the quarterback for them? I think he was. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Colorado had 
had had a cold team. Um, not about CU, but do you think Bam A and M need to consider getting a new coach? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, honestly, I I haven't paid too much attention to what they got going on up there. I did have some teammates that were playing for Maynard after I left because he's a coach that came in immediately after me and they liked him. And I think we won the championship uh, in the COVID spring. Uh, so I haven't looked at what they've done recently, but yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure on that, but I do know people like them. I think uh, of Colorado state quarterback. So what we're going to do and, and, and they're going to try to tear our they're channel gonna, down. They're going to tear happening. our channel down. <laughs> I'm right when we get to the season, I'm going to be doing breakdowns of everybody we're playing. I'm breaking down the players. I'm breaking down the schemes, the offense runs, the schemes, the defense runs. Y'all going to be watching the games and be like, oh, yeah. And, and trips. That's when TCAL said they was going to do that. I'm I'm getting a bag. I'm telling y'all. It's, it's, it's Enjoy it while we still here. <laughs> Boy, gonna they gonna be, go. It's yeah. going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. You know, they're coming for us. But, you know, the. The great thing with that is uh, undefeated in the copyright cases. So I don't know what they're going to try to do, but as long as we're doing this film. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're coming. They're going to come for us. As soon as we start, it's going to be some problems. You guys know what it is. So enjoy us while you guys have us. (laughs) Right. (laughs) I'll be back. They're going to come. I just had another one. So he had a really good game against us last year. But if you watch the film, one of them was, uh, I think, a halfback pass. Or maybe he threw the pass. Yeah, I think he might have thrown the pass. But most of his stuff was all drag routes and under routes. Like he was catching the ball, running two yards in front of the line of scrimmage. He wasn't going downfield and just cooking it up. So as long as we stop that, you know, we'll be straight. Uh, Yeah, Jackson State's D1. I don't know what they're talking about. What are your thoughts on Quincy Wiggins? Again, didn't play at LSU. We don't have any film on him to go off of. Uh, mm-hmm. See people asking for a Gage Goldberg film. We may do that this summer. If yeah, yeah, we may do that this this summer. We got a long way to the season, y'all. Y'all, y'all being thirsty. We got we got a <laughs> long, long way. Was it April? Shoot, we got five months before week one. Yeah, it's gonna we be time. Someone said set up a backup channel now. Nah, it's gonna be bad. Like, we doing this. Be we bad. doing this for y'all. So if yeah. we get kicked off, that's on y'all. It's a wrap. It's been nice knowing you guys. Appreciate the love. We still gonna be watching every damn Colorado game. <laughs> yeah, keep so your plans do. in your pockets so the haters can't copy. This is some just for me. How I am in general. Mm-hmm. I ain't never been. And this is how I am in, in life with my job. I ain't trying to compete with nobody. Mm-hmm. I know what we bring to the table. Right. We we bring something that I don't think people can copy. So that's mm-hmm. not something that I'm worried about at all. You know, if I, I'll give them that they can have the exact same film as that. I'm not worried about that. So. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's I'm but that's what usually happens, man. That, that usually happens. And, uh, you know, people think we joke it. But look, right after that, North Dakota State, <laughs> you, <laughs> we going to be cold. Hey, oh, appreciate man. you guys, man. Love is dope, man. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How you feel about yesterday's scrimmage? I didn't even have a chance to check out yesterday's scrimmage. Man, hey. Shout out to Jovan. Appreciate, appreciate you, G, you bro. Appreciate, appreciate you. It, bro. Thank you. Uh, thank you. All right, cool. Uh, real quick, real more blaze. Yes, we did do an Amari McNeil breakdown, and CT loved it. <laughs> go watch it and comment and i'm gonna come find your comment go watch <laughs> Mark, i'm telling you tag me in that and i will be there <laughs> just like when you guys uh, watch that bentley video tag me because you, you're gonna be like me <laughs> so t cow what are your thoughts on israel solomon and his play leaning into the season he seems like a dog and has that mentality i hadn't seen much of him but i tweeted yesterday on it it went crazy lashante wester had a catch on him Everybody was talking about LeJounte Wester. I was like, cool. But do y'all see the way this, this corner is moving? I really liked that rep by him. LeJounte got away with a little push-off at the end. I don't care about it. You're going to give up catches every now and then. Like I talked about when we're watching Cromani's film, I care about how you get beat. He was super patient at the line. Stayed square. Um, once he started going upfield, got a hand on. I just want to see him squeeze the receiver better. I want to see him use his hands more. But 
him to step up because I think that's one I want him to step up and take on that challenge of Lejante, who I think is one of the top three best receivers in college football. Yeah, that that tells me a lot. That tells me a lot. So I definitely want to see more of him. Definitely. Uh, there's a podcast that won't say I'm buffed in prime. They'll say on another channel. What <laughs> podcast is that? What podcast is that? Uh, Clayton, appreciate you, bro. Thank appreciate you. you, Clayton. Appreciate, appreciate you. you. One thousand, brother. <laughs> get those likes up. Apparently, we're seven away from a thousand. Yeah. This is amazing. Can we get that solid? Cornerbacks <laughs> give up catches all the time. Yes, it's a part of the game. It is a part of the game. People, I don't know. We got time. Man. You know, I, I sit here and I'm looking at people saying about these players or whatever. You guys, I, I just want to say this college football is in a new era. That transfer, people you think going to beat her next year? Look, I'm telling you, you just might as well just get used to it. They're going to come and go. They're going to come and Appreciate go. Appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank and, you. And I believe you've been on our channel for, for a good amount, too. And, man, we appreciate the, appreciate the support. Me and CT never, at least me, I didn't expect to get nowhere near here um, as far as people tuning into our channel. Oh, yeah. All. Hey, look, look. You know what you got? I'm going to tell you guys. I told TK, I said, bro, we got to go live. He said, ain't nobody going to watch us live. I said, bro. <laughs> when I watch my fantasy football, I'll be on live for like two hours. He was like, ain't nobody going to watch. And here you guys go. So thank you guys for having my back. <laughs> Prove a deek out. <laughs> this is where we at, bro. Yes, we are. Yes, hit that like button. Um, he's from IMG. Okay. Well, IMG has definitely has some dogs that they produce. If y'all don't know and y'all do know basketball, IMG is the Oak Hill Academy for yeah. football. Yeah. So people yeah. go there just to play football. Just to play football. Yeah, the block, man. Y'all get me excited just thinking about uh, thinking about what it's going to look like with Chidozi and all these guys this season. It's going to be crazy. At the anchor, finally get an anchor in that defensive line. You'll know what I mean when you watch the Bentley video. Hey, it's going to be different. That's dope that you're watching us on the TV. That is awesome. <laughs> and we appreciate you. We appreciate you. I'll be in Orlando at Shield 35-yard line. We need to look at those tickets, bro. Yeah, we need to man, we going to be there. Yeah, Look, y'all want to meet up? We can meet up, you know what I'm saying? Because we going to be in Florida cutting up. Well, I am at least. <laughs> With them prime shades, it's going to be on. Yeah, I, I definitely remember you on our channel for a while. <laughs> He's the first year I watched the comment on. Oh, let's see how y'all not at 1K. Yeah, no, it's we started like January 10th, and now yeah, we're bro. at 6,000. And yeah, which no, is wild. You guys have been awesome. You have no idea when TK went to Mexico. I was like, bro, if we get 100 subscribers, it's about to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was funny right before uh, we did the D coordinator video. And it just went boom. <laughs> Who needs Netflix when you got bit film breakdowns? <laughs> hey, that is what we're here for. Hey. And we can't, man. The, and you the want that bit after so much content? <laughs> the bit after dark. If you want that bit after dark, go to the, go follow him on Twitter. <laughs> You're hilarious. Yeah, no, I gotta stop. I gotta stop with these clowns. We about man. to get kicked off YouTube and Twitter. And Twitter, man. This is gonna be like Buffin Prime man. was here. <laughs> Bridget, we appreciate you. We know you be showing us mad love. Really appreciate you and uh appreciate the support. And yeah, that's that's what we're coming to do, giving y'all the real. It sounds like everybody wanna hit that UCF game. We want yeah, man. Uh, it might get wild in there. <laughs> man, my family went to the Oregon State game last year, it was freezing when uh, at Colorado. So we want a little sun this year. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. We, let's be warm, bro. Definitely want a little sun. DNVR going to have a tailgate at UCF. Let's go. That would be cool. I was just playing uh, <laughs> I was just playing RK and Madden. And you see on Twitter, he told hey, 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 T-Cow really like that. Man, I'm <laughs> – <laughs> he saw to be out. Yeah, I beat him two times in a row, man. Uh, but yeah, no, we would definitely, definitely tune in, tune in for that. That would be cool to be able to chat with y'all, man. Uh, let's see. Oh, we reached a thousand likes. Man. Appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate y'all, man. That's what we really, want really, to see. Really, really appreciate y'all. Travis said, uh, I got COVID at the Oregon State. Man, that game was cold. <laughs> that game, I kept going up the stairs to go in the little area where they got the little basketball court. I was on the, uh, the visitor side, and it was freezing. I was, I was pretty close to being miserable. It was tough. 
Yeah, man. Yeah. Most YouTube creators are respecting your content and feeling necessary niche. Uh, it's funny. Um, we got mentioned on Coach JB show. Um, <laughs> we, we know he'd be saying some crazy stuff about Colorado. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we got mentioned on his show about uh, the Cromani breakdown and somebody that they had on was, was talking about that and, and what we did. Uh, yeah, no, we, we're not going to show no fake stuff. Uh, I mentioned I'm well with me there to tell them they have the best breakdown. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Uh... Oh, we know who this is. Oh, oh you moved so fast. Oh, which one? <laughs> you know who this is? Ah! Oh, yeah. You know it's we get mom. it in here. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. Your kid's still quiet, man. Your kid be tripping. Yeah. I hope your wife hears that, too. Oh, Bad she in there? Kids. She just seems oh, congratulated on a yeah. thousand likes. I wise in I, here deep, bro. <laughs> I Appreciate you. Yeah, we may do some more collabs. We did one with Locked On Buffs that was really cool. We really mm -hmm. had fun doing that. So yeah, I think I think we'll do some more of those. It has to be the right fit though. Um, what is it? Hold on, what is the one you got mentioned on Big Tiger Media? Uh, it, shoot us a oh, yeah, shoot us a link. I didn't hear it. Yeah, shoot us a link because I don't know what that is. Somebody else I said caught that guy Big on time. Twitter trying to check T Cal hard to argue with them. Yeah, trying is the key word. He, <laughs> I promise he's not having any fun tonight. Like he embarrassed himself. That's crazy. He's gonna know his stuff when it comes to football. Appreciate you. It's different, I'm not, you guys. I'm, I'm look, I'm gonna tell bit. you guys, I'm trying to get it. We set it up where you guys can at least watch a quarter of football. <laughs> Yeah, it's insane. Hey, I'd be so I'm about to tie GoPro. Yeah, it's man. crazy. And he never sits like, down. So he'd be like, bro, he'll call a play and then walk away. <laughs> TCU was like the Super Bowl. Like I was like, I felt like I was in the game. And that's what I mean, that's part of what made us want to do this channel. Mm -hmm. I haven't felt the way I feel about a college football team or since I played. Like even the teams I played on, I don't watch them like really at all. But I feel a tie to Colorado and man, I just feel, I love watching the games. It's so fun watching those games. Like, bro, you remember how happy we were when we beat TC? Like, bro, nobody could tell us nothing. That was nothing. just amazing. Only people we were trying to talk to after that was fan dude. Pay up. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Run that over. No more commits for the night. Not as of now, but I might have some inside info. And some more might be coming. Keep up the go buffs. Appreciate you. Appreciate thank you. you. Appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. And yes, I believe Bishop transferred. All right, y'all. We got uh y'all can knock out a few more questions. Sounds like people getting getting a little sleepy. It's past their bedtime. I know people got work in the morning. So yeah, shoot us a few more questions. We'll answer those. Um let's see. Uh really just sharing the channel, and we'll talk about it soon. Um uh about what we want to do with donations uh coming up we might do a video on that oh we week. got something special brewing up but you yeah. know what all we gonna show we're gonna show you guys what we do not you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's not gonna be like hey we're gonna ask you guys to contribute we're just gonna show you what we do and mm -hmm. that's you know what i'm saying because that, that's big like that's that's big for us absolutely have you guys considered doing a collab uh yeah we'd be we'd be open to it we'd be open to it for sure <laughs> Nick B said, I definitely shed a tear. I was running around the house. Man, we were screaming in my house. We was running hey, upstairs, downstairs, hey, man. Couldn't tell hey, us God. nothing. Nothing. Not phone calls was coming in, FaceTimes. Ah. Yeah, that's interesting. That his name wasn't in the portal. Yeah, I'm not sure how how that's working. Yeah, TCU favored by 22 was bananas. Mm -hmm. Absolutely like easy so money. E easy money. You sold your car, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Go watch that short. Yeah. Decal sold his car, went better on my uh, Colorado to beat TCU. Go bet on Colorado. Great. No, not to beat TCU. That was just for the spread. Yeah, to cover the spread. That was a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hit that. Um, is the edge room the second best room on the team behind wide receiver? I don't think so. Uh, especially we, if we get that running back from Ohio State, I think running back room is right behind them. Are you talking strictly on the right? offensive side? No, just in general. Man, because the defensive uh, back room is pretty loaded, bro. <laughs> like, like it, it's top heavy. Yeah, it's it's top it. heavy. But yeah. after that, you know, we <laughs> edge is up there. Edge is up there for sure. Edge is up there for sure. 
Um, okay, CP is more hands-on coaching up the DBs this year. He's on a mission. Yes, I have seen that, and I am really impressed by that. I want him to mm – -hmm. that is the greatest to ever step on a football field, arguably ever, for any position, but definitely for cornerback. So I'm glad that he's taken more of a um, aggressive role as far as the coaching of the cornerbacks and defensive backs. I'm excited for that. Uh, man, nobody wants to be another TCU. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, every, after they saw what we did week, to TCU, every week we get we get everybody's best, no matter what their record is, no matter nothing. Just know they coming. Man, y'all got to tag us in this stuff. We don't be seeing nothing. Yeah, honestly, we be we be, all these channels mentioned us. I don't even know. I don't even be on YouTube like that. Yeah, yeah we know where you yeah. be. <laughs> I wasn't even on, bro. I wasn't on Twitter at get all. Get your body on, on Twitter, yeah, yeah. Lord. Uh, we need y'all to break down the spring game because I don't care what he uh, see what I will when he break in. I don't care what got you. I, I, I get what you're saying, but you know, we'll we'll break down the spring game. We probably won't have the all 22 film from it, unfortunately, but we'll have enough for sure. Uh, Tajay McCoy film breakdown. Yes, we will have that coming. Uh, sports back picks and props will be good when the season starts, TK. That's what we're planning on doing. We, now, we need a sponsorship from one of them. We ain't going to let these people, you know, yeah. shout them out for free. So uh, that may be in the works. But, yeah, that, that'll that be fun. And I'll tell you all right now, my wife wins so much <laughs> at sports betting. Yeah. <laughs> she, she didn't know about football until she met me. She <laughs> is crazy at sports betting. So, uh We'll do our picks, but we're also going to have a segment uh, when the season starts of both of our wives uh, yeah. doing theirs because I'm telling you, they be, they be they, they just way different. more than us. Like, I don't know what it is. I say, I say, TK, I think we just too invested in football or something. So we we overthink it. They'd be like, da -da -da -da. damn, yeah, parlay they, after yeah, parlay. It. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have a peaceful Sunday. <laughs> just, just, just trying to chill. See a mention <laughs> pop up. Hold on. Let me, let me get in that bag real quick. Um, mm. Shane Coke's film that is going to come. We've seen what people said about him. We got to, we got to check it out for sure. Uh, Kobe comes. I don't think Kobe's coming. Price picks get, yeah, price kicks need to come. <laughs> okay. What did, what, what did John Liquidator say? Oh, yeah. No, that right. let, let, let me chill because I'm telling you, it's not, it's I don't not even know who John Liquidator is. If I really is. get that bag, it's not. Oh, really here fun. we go. <laughs> Here's my wife. Yeah, y'all come get some pro tips. I'm telling y'all, she she be running it up. There they go. <laughs> there are <Yeah>. wise. <laughs> and make sure your kids not being bad to you. <laughs> bad kids, man, just bad. Nah, they, they just they just probably bad doing some things. <laughs> uh, so we're we're this is our second time going live. We're gonna mm -hmm. try to plan a day every week to go live. So we're gonna ask y'all. We're gonna do a poll. What day y'all want to see? Because uh, some people may want to watch Sunday before the work week or some people may want to watch, you know, after work during the middle of the week. So, yeah, we're going to take a poll and then whatever uh, y'all say, then then that's what we're going to do. Um, uh, OK, Emily. Yeah, they got the plugs for sure. Married to handicapper. I mean, I'm telling you, she she be knowing something. I don't know. If she uh, hey. I don't know. She she be knowing something. They're going to ask you to remix the theme song. OK. <laughs> That'd be, yeah yeah my wife be killing them bets man i tell you she yeah Ooh, i don't know blood at all it's about to be a body tonight <laughs> i don't know him. i'm staying out of stuff man I'm, nobody knows what he says with all that screaming immediately click yeah that's 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 not what is this? He said he don't rock with us. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all. Uh, oh, John, yeah, I'm gonna tell you for one. I could. I gotta be censored. I could not give less. <laughs> of a, you know what? Could not care less. Promise you, I couldn't. But uh, might tap in and see what he's talking about. Uh, CT the fan. Thanks for convincing T Cal to finally go live. It's hard work. Yeah, <laughs> man. But but I told him I said, bro, we got to do this at the right time. You know, CT <laughs> no, CT hey. wanted to go live week one when we had two subscribers into said, an interview with a player. I'm like, he bro, said we'll we go get some live like first. week four Bring in game. the season. 
No, no, spring game. No, no, we're supposed to do spring game. Well, first I said later, yeah, but then spring yeah. game. I didn't think people would be this interested. That's the reason mm-hmm. that I was saying mm-hmm. not go live. I'm like, man, ain't nobody going to watch us go live. But, uh, man, we have a ton of fun being in here and talking to y'all yeah. and engaging with y'all and just talking Colorado football. You know, we're all here supporting Colorado. And, I mean, th- this is a fun time. Like, we've been in here two hours. It don't feel like two hours. Like, we've just I been in here chopping it up and kicking yeah. it. So, yeah, we, we appreciate y'all. There are three commits. Yeah. And then uh, they're talking about the tight end. That's the other one. Hey, I'm 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 telling y'all they. I, I was yeah, trying to get my wife laughing. to start I her laugh. own TikTok and stuff last it's year. But wow, no, she, wait till you guys see yeah. these parlays. Piggyback, yeah. go get them yeah, fan our, dudes if you don't got them. <laughs> our wives <laughs> gonna be on. Know. Our wives gonna have their own segment for sure once once wild. the season start. Four commits, JTL. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I already say that. I don't. I don't want. <laughs> Y'all try to get. <laughs> Oh, oh god. And, uh man, man, we appreciate you. And yeah, people have been telling us this. Like I mm-hmm. said, we we didn't know that people were gonna we, we was doing videos like this when we had five subscribers and we was doing it right. the exact same way, yeah, and just true. us 1, talking. So but you know yeah, you gotta no, give I'm, them that you gotta give them that fine print, let them know. <laughs> Boy. Yes, I'm that TK that used to play at AM. Appreciate you. Um, mm-hmm. I had to let people know today they're talking crazy I'm like hold on you you know i was that boy right like i wasn't mm-hmm. decent i wasn't just good. like i was <laughs> like, my my film's out there like yeah appreciate you yeah we, we try man we try mm-hmm. just keep doing y'all don't worry about other channels y'all got the right niche yeah i mean that's that's how we are and mm-hmm. we just trying to keep keep doing what we do like we're so we've never pursued any collab with anybody. You know, we're good. We're we're just doing our own thing. We think there's space for all CU content creators. Everybody has their own lane. You know, some people don't like us. Uh, we have people say that we have way too much video. They just want us to get to the point. I say that's fine. Get to a different channel. Like, I, if, if you don't want to be that guy, I ain't gonna chase you. Like, what you what you, what you, uh, what you think this is? Yeah. Um, but yeah, this people be funny, man. Um, Hey, hey, I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna have so much fun with it. Our wives are hilarious. Oh, uh, they are, yeah. Oh my it, god. It, it, it's gonna be a real fun segment. We might not even be in it, or we might be partially in it and let them take over, but it's gonna be really fun. And you know, we just like doing things with, with y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Cause I understand this game better than you make me mad, man. Hey, no. It's real talk, and it's not just betting. My wife was undefeated in our family fantasy football league. It was crazy. That pissed me off. <laughs> that pissed it was crazy. My sister's been coming to my game since I was like seven years old. Don't know what's going on on the field. <laughs> she ran through us when undefeated in fantasy football. That had me hot. Wow. Yeah, that the OT was hot. <laughs> I was hot for sure. Um you should do shorts 40 second version is another way to feed the adh people <laughs> yeah the our shorts just don't begin that type of traction but we'll do more it's just it's time consuming mm-hmm. and we are typically busy um so yeah it's but yeah we'll try to get more of those out all right few more and then and then we finna finna tap out she just call a game and be right hey man it'd be like that sometimes man that's that's what makes it fun um that's what makes it fun. Man, appreciate you, bro. That's all we know how to do. We don't try to imitate no one else. We don't try to compete in anybody else's lane. We're just doing our own thing. And, you know, we're, we're just glad you guys are enjoying it. And, man, like I said, we enjoy it a, a ton. So this is really fun. Yeah, it is. This man always asks me to choose picks. He said, I always win. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> man, listen to my wife. Uh, choose who she'd be choosing be the funniest thing, man. She like, oh yeah, I remember this guy from fantasy football. I like the way his name sounds. I'm betting on it. And my wife not just picking like games; she be doing player props and hitting. Like yeah. it's it's wild. It's, wild. it's, it's I'm it's, telling it's, you, it's, it, it gets wild. Hey, we got you, bro. You we ain't changing nothing, okay, man. We, well. yeah, you good. <laughs> yeah, we, man, we keeping it rolling. Uh, Sean, man, appreciate. Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> they want you to catch your body tonight. Bro. Bro, it is bedtime, man. Tonight. We appreciate you, but it is bedtime. Well, yeah, you, you know. can go check out our whole other 
uh, video on him because we talked about him uh, a lot. Uh, should I tell y'all? Uh, we get most of the film from uh, Caddy's Cut Ups. He's on Patreon. He got a lot mm-hmm. of all 22. You got to pay. But yeah. That's crazy, bro. If that's true, that, you've been yeah. here since five. That is insane. But man, yeah, we appreciate bro. you anyway. I know I've been seeing your name for a long time, but yeah, we appreciate you for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, see, see, this be CT. He he be want to instigate when somebody be talking because he know. <laughs> no, hey, no, no. I wake up, I got screenshots, screenshots in their body. <laughs> oh, oh, when they man. gonna figure it out, bro? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I just be laid back. I just be trying to chop it up, talk, <laughs> talk ball. Yeah, yeah, stuff like this. Who has the better looking uniforms? Yeah, they yeah, gonna hit yeah, too. Yeah. So that'll be fun. And what's and, his and, number? And, 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 I like that number. That's the guy. <laughs> oh, no, she's guy. terrible. Anything with the number six, and she gonna go for it. <laughs> she's the worst. Uh, but yeah, uh, all y'all fellas, uh, when we do that, make sure y'all bring your wives in. Yeah. Wives, or ladies in general, make sure y'all tune in. It's gonna be a real. Real fun segment uh, that we're gonna do. Hey, pre bro, appreciate you, man. Really human. appreciate you. You've been Lord. rocking with us for a long time, man, and uh, we appreciate it. We still, hey. we still rolling. Ain't nobody gonna change what we're doing. Ain't yeah. nobody gonna bully T. Cal. I can promise <laughs> you that. We locked in. We locked in, man. Salute. Uh, CT seems to type to instigate and laugh when T. Yeah. For sure. Oh, it's great, for bro. Sure. It's great because they don't know, but I know. Yeah, no <laughs> well, idea. We there, like I'm like, yeah, yo, no d- he got that time. <laughs> no idea. It's gonna be fun for no one except me. It's not gonna yeah. be fun. Uh, TKR Twitter, yeah, it's been insane. I had like 400 <laughs> followers like two days ago. Now I'm at 900, and bro, I got coaches, college head coaches following me. I got, uh, I just got followed from Colorado's director of player personnel. Finally, so you know we can yeah, talk directly. Yeah, so I might but, get a little uh, influence man, over there. Come on, I got position coaches at D one. I got a, a D two head coach. It's crazy. So it's been uh, awesome. <laughs> hey, no, they definitely going super. Hey, y'all, it's, awesome. weird. it's crazy, bro. Super chat for super chat. Uh, let's. Damn. <laughs> hey, damn. y'all wilding out. <laughs> yeah. We finna have to hop off. Y'all are wilding out. Yeah. Whoa, hey, bro. Appreciate bro. you, Look, Kev. You got to catch a game with us, bro. You know, you, you got to oh, yeah. catch a game. We got to kick Okay, dude, ball. Man, we got to, come on, man. Yeah, we we got to break it in it. person. <laughs> uh, uh, my name's Tere Calloway, T-E-R-E Calloway, C-A-L-L-O-W-A-Y. But check me out on YouTube and see why all these people that start talking crazy end up apologizing because <laughs> it's not fun. Uh, <laughs> you consider coaching. At some point, I may. Uh, only thing with coaching is it takes a lot of patience. And I go back to the Kamani situation. I don't have patience for something like that. If my guys aren't watching, feel like it's. Uh, it, <sighs> See what I'm talking about, you guys? See what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I I just love the game too much. I put too much work into the game. I'm too passionate about the game to blatantly watch somebody disrespect it. Um, and I know everybody's not like that. So at some point, you know, I might end up coaching, but it, it's not going to be not going to be for a while uh, as well. Is it, but you might as well get paid. They're studying your stuff. Hey, you know. They are, man. They are. like they Whatever are. happens, man. Whatever happens. Um, let's see. What's the cash app? Don't got no cash app for the page, man. If yeah. y'all ever want to donate or do supers, you can do it on the video. Um, but, mm-hmm. you know, we're not, we not here to try to get y'all to do that. But we definitely appreciate y'all support, man. You guys are absolutely awesome. You um, guys make it worth it. Oh, and look out for them videos we got dropping, man. Bentley. Is a Bentley. Trust me. Watch. Absolutely. He, he gonna be something. Reef, I've been grinding in my regular work, my day jobs, because mm-hmm. as soon as I, um, as soon as this game comes out, don't ask. I told my don't ask me for nothing. <laughs> I'm locked in my office. I don't know if I can show you. I got my I got my TV right here in my office. I'm locked in. I ain't doing. I can't wait till that game comes out. Um, he said, "Why are you mad at your wife, bro?" I'm mad because I spent so much time playing the game of football, learning the game of football, and I'll do a hundred parlays. I'll put like a dollar on them and just hoping they hit big. And every, I don't think she went a week during the football season where she didn't win at least once. So that's why I'm mad at her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What you saying, T. Cal, is why Prime will never jump a 
thousand percent agree mm-hmm. because when you put certain you know into the game you can't you can't see somebody not treated the same way that you would treat it it is frustrating so um I, I completely completely agree uh who else we got we got a few more then we gotta hop yeah off. Um, they told my wife same thing if it's not important to bother me with a job she had, hey Bro, I've been waiting for this game for <laughs> college football. Come, I'm telling you, I'm locked in. Uh, hey, you know what? That is a smart thing you just said. He is right. Yeah, yeah. YouTube does. That's do a hit from that. Um, yeah, I like that. We can do something for that because yeah, YouTube does. YouTube does take a little bit. Um, so yeah, yeah. He uh, said, I don't know what the beef's about. I, I, I'll be honest. I've never even seen one of his videos in my life. So I just, I have no idea. They're just saying that he said he don't rock with us. I I don't know how you can rock, not rock with someone that don't rock with you in the first, like, I don't know who he is. I'm being yeah. honest with y'all. Um, but yeah, we don't got no ill will to him. We don't. It's we don't just the film. Know. The film breakdowns make people very uncomfortable. Wait till you see the film. I'm telling y'all. Y'all gonna see the film, but hey. Yeah. Just tell t Cow to drop it tomorrow. Drop it in the morning. Just let it do what it do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we will. We might do that. We might do that. Um, yeah, yeah, it does. does have a heavy feet. Yeah, we, hey, yeah, we, yeah, we can add something else. We'll we'll figure that out. Um, and then we're gonna talk about what we want to do with those as well, and talk about the donations that we want to do. Um, because we, yeah, we got, yeah, we got some stuff we'll talk about this week. Uh, yeah, yeah, three zero percent. Yeah, they be yeah, they be trying to run it up. They Nearly had an interception on the screen pass from two. Okay. Yeah, we'll check that out. <laughs> I'll have to ask her what she what she thinks on that. Take that back. I'm gonna tell you to take that back. <laughs> take it. In. Yeah, Let's I ain't gonna put it. no no crazy money on those, but you know I sprinkle a little bit. Uh, usually a top hundred Madden. But I, don't don't say that. And Madden's still out. It's ready and available. You, you go ask RK <laughs> from DMVR. You will see what it's like today. I'm, you, it's no fun playing me in Madden, like at all. Like no one has fun. Uh, people say stuff gets like, two steps. Yeah, they just be talking. Um, they just completely be talking. Start a seven on seven team. That's something I could possibly consider. I also don't like. Um, I also don't like how seven on seven is becoming. Guy. The way it is now, guys are less technically sound than they used to be. And I think mm. seven on seven is a part of that. How big it got for high schoolers. What day will the next film drop? Possibly tomorrow since CT want to keep. You're hilarious, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Got to let it go. People need to know. Is someone want to clarify here? Y'all made BJ Green look bad. We didn't do nothing. No, All we, we just... showing is film. Yeah. And that's why I told people, don't get mad at us. Get mad at what was put on tape. We didn't put that on tape. I can't go make a video or break video down of Travis Hunter loafing because mm-hmm. it's not there. I can't. We didn't use AI. Like I can't make nothing appear that wasn't there. You just acknowledged. So, uh, yeah. So, just acknowledged. Yeah. Just, that's not on but us. you know what? Look, yeah, that's that's really not on us. Yeah. Thank you, Mister Gray. BJ. <laughs> but hey, you know he's coming <laughs> to God get news. <laughs> That's funny. Let's roll. He said, "Thank you." Uh, and he has some flash plays, but mm-hmm. I'm not going to ignore what I saw on tape. Like, I'm not. This ain't the channel. We're we not here to be in good graces with anybody. That is not our goal. Our goal with this channel is to give fans a perspective that we didn't have as far as how players are playing, what they look like, who, you know, we should be on the lookout for and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, y'all don't got to worry about us switching up. That, that ain't going to happen. You understand the fans? We don't want to wait. Yeah, yeah. That's why his name's CT the fan. Because he'd be <laughs> thirsty. He made us drop three videos in one day. Yeah, I remember that. That was all me. Look, I'm like, bro, we got to drop, drop, drop. Let's go. <laughs> That's my love. That's right, Film Don't Lie, sweetheart. That's no, right. No, it is not. Y'all don't make players run to the ball when a, when a mentality shows up on film. Absolutely. Which is crazy because yeah. the defensive coordinator came out and validated what you said. I, like, it's crazy, bro. We get all that heat line? from the green. Like everybody was on us after that BJ Green video. I was like, wow, right. it's just film breakdown, right? Senior film at AM, you was a bad boy. Hey, appreciate you. Appreciate you. I'm just glad I can still contribute 
um, you know, to football in this way. You know, this is fun for us. But yeah, I did a little stuff. <laughs> exactly. If you're dishonest, you'll lose all the respect. Yeah, and we mm-hmm. don't do that. We're nah. we're not gonna do that. That's why we had to sit on the Taylor film. It was better just to not put it out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should have known when I said guys, we need a tight end. Yeah, because yeah, you guys no, are not gonna be no, happy. Look, look, you guys would be it. fine, but everybody else yeah. uh, like, let me just let me, that material. Oh my god, that part didn't come soon enough. And the thing with that is, I never want to. Like, I want to break down film. I don't never want to bash a player for his mm-hmm. talent level. Like, mm-hmm. you cannot control your talent level. Um, BJ Green, that was an effort thing. Right. Kermani, that was an effort thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to bash just your talent, but when you show that, nah, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Kyle Rush, how are you to scout the team? Uh, yeah, I don't know where the hate stems from, but shoot, I, I love, please give me access to Colorado film, like the act, like the uh, practice film. Great, right. Uh, mm-hmm. That'd be great. Uh, that would be so fun, man. People know football rock with y'all. That's all that matters. We appreciate that. Michael McPherson, appreciate should, you, bro. Should we do uh post-game breakdown live, or should we do the day after, like a Sunday morning breakdown that people kind of digest it? Uh, maybe we do a live, like right after just an immediate reaction, and then mm-hmm. like Sunday morning, um, do just like a more in-depth one. Because, I mean, that... Mm-hmm. That'd be fun getting you ready for NFL if you know we got NFL fans in you here. Um, and it wasn't Mateo with Mateo's film, I'll just tell you what happened. He wasn't getting open, he wasn't a good route runner, he wasn't, he wasn't catching the ball. Yeah, he wasn't um he didn't have the want to block him. And that's a that's an effort thing. Like you yeah. you can see it. And if you're that size, you need to like but yeah, that, that's what we saw. Um like Sunday breakdowns, eh? <laughs> yeah and, and i appreciate you uh for saying that yeah everything i'm doing is based on my experience and mm-hmm. my knowledge of the game uh the things i'm saying that's why i say the things i say aggressively because i'm not worried about anybody trying to argue with me or argue correctly with me because i'm not saying things just to say them like this is i spent years and years and years playing this game and studying film no teammate i've ever had at any level has grinded harder than me in the film room or knew more, understood the schemes better than me. That's what I, uh, you know, prided myself on. And yeah, yeah, CT is hilarious. Sunday <laughs> breakdown, Sunday breakdown. Uh, we're planning to go live during some games. Uh, we just, yeah, I just began hyped. So that I got to down. Thank you for encouraging him not to make us wait. Yeah, so. I'm with you guys. I'm on y'all team. Like, come on, TK, let's get this film. Let's go. <laughs> Open that vault. We be putting in work. <laughs> and I agree with this 100%. Um, and I talked about it, talked about what Kermani talked about other people. I wouldn't respect, if I was putting plays like that on film, I wouldn't respect anybody that was supposed to be close to me that didn't call me out on it. Because mm-hmm. that shows me that you don't really care about me being great. You don't really expect greatness out of me. So yeah, if he's a dog, then, then we're going to see. And I will say, he blocked a bunch of people that was talking crazy to him on Twitter. But he never blocked me. So, mm. um, yeah, I, I will say that in his. Uh, yeah, uh, like, you know, I mean, BJ Green, man. He's a dog. Just, just bring it. Um, we haven't lost too much. So, we lost Alto. Um, we lost that Jaden Milliner like- Jones was a depth. Uh, it was, but I didn't expect him to play for two to three years. Mm-hmm. Like, he was going to have to redshirt. So, as far as, like, winning now, no, nah, we, we didn't lose nothing but Alto, in my opinion. Uh, TLP goes out so forever. Breakdown on oh, Coach Prime Cam. Yeah, we can do that. We're gonna start doing some well off media breakdowns too. We're gonna do that for sure. Uh, Gemini, I ain't seen you coming in a while, but I know you've been rocking for a while. Yeah, this is a great weekend for Colorado, and we're excited. We're excited. So, yeah, we, we're gonna keep things rolling. Who's this? CT loves the trenches. He a trench baby. It's only right he bring the injury hype. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, he definitely be, be instigated. Yeah. I know. I'm just trying to go ahead. Cool. You guys think I'm playing. Our YouTube channel might be around for like one more month. <laughs> but hey, y'all, we, we know it's getting late. We 
we appreciate y'all appreciate y'all tapping in again we got more videos on deck hope y'all enjoyed this one of this weekend going over the visitors as we get more film of these guys we're gonna push it out like we always do um and the ones that end up signing and committing then we're gonna do the full breakdowns how we usually do um really going in depth on them so yeah man we appreciate y'all uh j dot yeah you i don't know what <laughs> All right. Don't you, Pat, they don't know. If I get go on my follow, Twitter right now, go follow Buff and Prime on Twitter. But remember, if, if, it's even you know older. Like, if, if I gonna if I get on Twitter right now and it, and it's not if I get some mentions on like it's gonna yeah. <laughs> CT, my brother, man, he got my back. That's my it's brother. All uh, love. That's right. All the way. All the way. By the way, <laughs> honor is a loser. Uh, that's CT's son. Oh, he's a winner. Why man. you gave him the gave him the phone to let him comment? Loser. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Appreciate um, you, Kev, man. You know what it is, man, bro. You got to get with us for a game, bro. Man, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate gotta you. Get. Hey, you know what, T-Cow? You need to go ahead and drop our theme music. All right, man. <laughs> he told us to drop the theme music. Song got no choice. Hey, appreciate y'all. This is by OK to Evolve. Dope. Bentley well, tomorrow. y'all soon. Who's next? Who's next? Do your words match your video? Yeah. This for my boy, T-Cow. Yeah, we on that buff train, man. Yeah, the boys, they put it down. I watch them every day. Hey, they gonna put you on a bell like that. But they gonna put you down there where you belong. They ain't gonna care for you. Nah, they ain't gonna care for you. Yeah, they gonna love on you. They gonna tell you what to do to get yourself better.